Attention, please. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from the Howard Hospitality Group, and joining me tonight, I've got Matt from Galaxy Games 843. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. So David, uh, as per usual, is having uh, internet networking issues, so he is uh, trying to fix those issues right now. He is uh, in his room at his house uh Cussing, probably. You don't even. Need, you never cuss. <laughs> David, David, David doesn't cuss. <laughs> That's not happening. So he, he's using some he's u- colorful, he's u- colorful terms. I he's don't know. He's using strong words. words. Yes. Right, strong words. Um, and uh, get, trying to get his internet going. So he should be joining us hopefully anytime. Uh, but when he was trying to do it with us, he he said we were pretty choppy. So he should be. Uh, we're hoping he'll join us here in a little bit. Uh, we're trying to talk him into Starlink. So if every one of you would please. In the comments, type Starlink for David, so then that way he gets the message that he needs that's to right. use Starlink before the night is over because it is the only service out there that's going to work for him, and they've added so many satellites, he should be good to go. So a um, lot going on in the vending world this week. Got an exciting announcement tonight that we got to talk about, um, and we're going to announce that tonight. Uh, plus, we got the uh, giveaway we're going to talk about and yes. uh, um, all kinds of things. So... Um, real quick, I, I saw we already got a super chat. You want to want to do that first? Man, Let's kick awesome. it off with a super chat. Guess who it's from, guys? You know, it's from Waco's Car Wash Channel. Elevators and more coming in with the first super chat of the night. Says he talked to a celebrity on Monday. Talked to Extreme Vending. Yeah, he did on the phone. Nice. That's what David said so. He said he was he was very excited about vending um, and about his his channel. He wants everybody that can to join his channel. Um, so please search for Waco's Car Wash channels and channels elevator and more channel on YouTube because he's trying <laughs> to get as many subscribers as he can. So thank you so much. Aren't for we all? Show. Aren't yeah, we all? Totally. So um, we're actually getting about two a day, which is pretty cool for us. So nice. people are finding our videos, and it's kind of neat because they send you the updates of like how people find you. And it's actually through like search or um, from external sources, which I'm kind of impressed because I wouldn't. I would think if you weren't really into the thing, you know, just automatically just like the record so, instead of being recommended. Yeah. yeah so a lot, was, a lot of that happens like that external search stuff. Like a lot of it comes from Google, obviously. So I know you've done videos about specific machines. Uh, so when somebody Googles like, like say, um, what, what's that? The find a key. Yeah. Like that. If somebody Googles find a key from AZ amusements, your video will probably show up in the Google search. Cause I don't think anyone else has done a video about the find a key machine. Oh. So that's how that works. Oh, I know cool. I get I get a lot of external search traffic for like repairing claw machines or fixing um, soda machines, things like that. So yeah. those those videos always show up in YouTube or I'm sorry, Google search for stuff like that. So if you make videos about that, how, how to and works. stuff like that. Hmm? Yeah, for sure. No, that's really cool. It's really so, cool. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, everybody's just saying hi. How's everybody doing? Um, yeah. Welcome to the Wednesday night live stream, everyone. Appreciate you guys being here. Albert works there. Albert, will you please... Get in the Discord and talk David into getting Starlink because yes. he needs it. If you have a coupon code or anything, give it to David so when he calls and orders it, you can get some credit. That's that right. Is, yeah, that's awesome. Well, congratulations. Mm. On Always that. be that's closing. Cool. Make that sale, buddy. Totally. Um, oh, Comp Magic says no audio tonight. So our mouths are moving, uh, but I guess we're not. You want to read so, that? I'm sorry. I forget we have the... Uh, and I got to apologize to you because I didn't oh, realize okay. you, you had told me this once before and I'm not the smartest person, but I forgot that we trans transform these into, um, podcasts. You know, yeah. Into the podcasts. And so the people listening can't read the comments. And yes. so you've been reading the comments and I've, I need to stop myself. Yes. We need to read the comments I, and then provide the answers or the, or thank the conversation. You. So, so I apologize to yeah. you for, for overstepping because it's I good. forget. So it's anyway. all good. So what, so what comp magic is saying is he's watching tonight, but he's not using audio. He's only watching the comments because his wife says no audio. They're watching a show. So he's only reading the comments oh, and nice. seeing us interact, but he can't hear us. Everyone <laughs> else can hear us just fine. So yeah, I see, I see the comments. 
Uh, Jen Venz is here. She says, I hear you. Hey, Jen. Welcome. Jen. President of the NBVA. Appreciate yes. you being here. Spoke to Love her on it. the phone today. She was out on route like I was. So I, I try to give everybody, you, David, people that I went because I have our routes are kind of far away. So I have sure, drives yeah. in between where I'm doing nothing but just basically driving. So I try to give people a call and just kind of catch up in that yeah. time window. Um, and so she's glad to be back. She, she and her boyfriend took a little trip when they got done. I, with I saw they were in Europe of all yeah, places. They were awesome. like going all over the place. Very cool. So she's ready to hit the ground running. Um, she's got so many ideas for MBVA this year. Um, she's going to be reaching out to all the people that signed up on the committees. Uh, she's going to be doing some newsletters and a bunch of stuff. So she's, she's got her hands full. She's going to be busy. So I mean, she I mean how, how far the NBVA has come since just last year in Vegas. I mean, so many cool changes, so many more people, so many more members, and now everyone wants to get involved. I'm so excited. Thank you all out there for jumping in, you know, feet first and getting ready to go. This is so cool. It is cool. And it, yeah. it, it seems like, it, it, like what's the, the phrase they use? Like it's the end of one era and the, and the start of another one or like a, a new beginning or, or whatever you want to call it. It seems that sounds like, like a Star, Star Wars, Wars movie or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> hey! um, you know, but it does. It, it's like it's, it, it, it feels that way. And when we were there this year, um, the people, I think they, they felt like they could step up. They could talk. They could yes. share information about their businesses and who they were, even though they've never been there before. Yep. I think that goes a lot has a lot to do with the live streams and the Discord. Totally. And just feeling comfortable in your own shoes and in, in, in people knowing who you are because of those things. So very cool. Yeah. So Waco's Car Wash Channel more. Another super chat. Whoa. All right, Waco's Car Wash Channel Elevators and more. Go subscribe to them, guys. A $5 Super Chat says, did you all see the solar eclipse? Well, we weren't in the path of totality like I think you might have been, but I no, saw your pictures like, on the Discord. I actually fell asleep when it <laughs> went over. I, I felt really bad, but I went out and, and um, went golfing and had some beers with my buddy. And Oh, well. Yeah, then, and then I, you had that that afternoon nap. Yeah, I, I get that. Drink, that's the first time I've drank in probably six or seven months. I think now it's been yeah. a long time, and I, I can't do it anymore. I just can't. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it happens. Yeah, I, I understand. Just, I'm old, and I just get tired. It's horrible. <laughs> it's really you just want to take sad. naps. It knocks me out. So I felt really bad, but um, I did enjoy golfing till I came home, and then I was just beat. So, anyways, oh, somebody's asking here. I want to read this one. Yeah, Comp Magic wants to know, what's up with the Batman behind you? I see a Batman portrait back there. Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, so that's actually my oldest son um, is the artist of the family. Wow. And he did that in like 25 minutes at school. It wow. brought it home. And he's like, hey, check this that's out. Like, and that like, looks what? like it's straight out of a comic book. That's it's really cool. It's really looking. cool because yeah. the colors he used and everything. Um, yeah. And this, I mean, he's really good. He's got a lot of talent. And so he gave it to me because Batman's my favorite um, superhero. So, nice. Um, yeah, so because... Um, I'm one of those weird people with superheroes that like he's the only one that I think that could actually be real, like quote unquote, because he's just a rich guy that has a bunch of cool toys and like somebody could actually do that versus sure. having superpowers. So that was my growing up. I was like, well, I could actually be Batman when I grow up if I have lots of money and cool toys. But um, <laughs> we're not there. We just have many machines and and stuff like that. I mean, but I think those are cool. They're toys. pretty cool toys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so that's that he did that for me at school because they had to do a quick project. They had 30 to 45 minutes and he did it in like 25. And nice. So and then in our living room, as you see behind me, I don't know if you can see is is full of tubs we've been going through toys do see all those tubs. so we got tubs behind us and over here and everywhere so maybe at some point i'll pan my camera around so you can see all the tubs there's about i'm not panning my camera around it's a of... mess behind the camera right now <laughs> there's like 50, I, yeah my so wife so like you know that. last week i talked about i got my ssm shipment from the nbva show this week i got the all-star shipment which we'll talk about when we talk about our giveaway i'll kind of maybe highlight some of those plush because yeah really we'd love awesome to see plush. that yeah yeah so i got i got all that and you know my first shipment from ssm i got three boxes my my uh shipment from all-star i got three boxes it's, it's nothing like the shipment you got i know you got a huge well, shipment of stuff well, we too. got a big shipment that we did and then we got our our you our u.s stuff and that, yeah, came, that yeah. comes so fast that it's already been here. It was already here for like a week. All that stuff sitting in the garage waiting. So what we do is we take all that and then all the stuff that we ordered, um, the China stuff that we ordered, and we basically separated it into four sizes. So we have mini, 
uh, medium machines, large machines, like a big choice. And then we have like our toy soldier, like our extra large stuff. And so we separate it into piles and then mix them all up and then put them in tubs. And then well, I can see the, the one, the tub directly behind you says mini on it. I can yes. see that. So those yeah. are that, that, the whole stack of, um, well, it's four stacks of four. So that's 16 stacks is just mini stuff. Nice. So that's that's the mini mix that they put together, um, and so and then we have ten boxes that are still at port, which we don't know when they're going to show up, and then we have to basically dump those out, mix them with the other ones, and then put them back in the tubs. It's it's a whole process, but yeah. Hashtag so, vending life. Yeah, it, but it is, I mean, I think that the stuff like, well, we're going to talk about All Star and a few other things we're going to talk about tonight, but the stuff that's come out this year is really cool. There's just some awesome stuff. So I really feel like. Um, you guys need to check out some sites that we're going to talk about tonight and then especially totally. our sponsor for tonight for the giveaway. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So um, let's see what else we got. Um, so let, uh, let's talk about the week. How was your week? What did you do? Oh, yeah, did we you, didn't do yeah. that, huh? I mean, yeah, we usually talk about the week. So our first, the first part of our shipment was 21 boxes and it showed up on Friday, last Friday. Crazy. crazy. And then the other 10 boxes. come whenever. Um, they messed up on the labels or something at port. They got messed up. So they separated it. I don't know what it happened, but um, luckily it wasn't like, you know, some sort of like It's all generic um, stuff anyway. So it's not, I'm not worried about it, but it, um, it, so we got the 21 bucks on Friday, and then we basically, Amelia and I woke up at, at 9 in the morning, and Sam had gone to his mom's house, and her and I woke up and opened every single box. And it was like Christmas. I mean, it was I'll so bet. much fun. And um, her face, I mean, she because she, you see, you know, what she picked, you see the pictures, but until it shows up, like, it's a whole different thing. And then, yeah, it's different There's in person, a couple times sure. you mess up, like, on sizes and stuff, and we didn't this time, but we've done that in the past where you order something, you're like, oh, that's so cool. And it's and way it says, smaller than you expected or, it's or way bigger, bigger than you expected. Or yeah. yeah, and so, and that didn't happen, so we were really happy about that. Um, they're all, everything was there so far that we, we know that was in that, sec that section, but that's what we did all weekend, and so by Sunday night at like almost nine or 10 o'clock at night. Uh, Cause that was the end of her spring break. It was basically we finished the tubs and put it all together. And so then she went to school the next morning, but um, that was it. And then I did collections today and that's pretty much our week. Um, we've been working on projects and stuff. One of them we're going to talk about tonight that we're kind of, well, not kind of, but we're really excited about. Nice. And, um, and then we're still trying to do our, our loan stuff and get new machines and all kinds of stuff. So we're busy. What was your week like? So uh, I spent uh, the majority of the week. So like, you know, we had the, the stream last Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, I was prepping for the weekend because we had a huge festival in town this weekend. I know. Excited. Like I said, there, there was probably over 100,000 people there between because it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And basically what they do is they close the main street running into downtown. So it's like, it's probably at least a mile long, maybe, the maybe longer, who knows? Sad. It looked packed. Yeah. So yeah. It, I mean, it was just like shoulder to shoulder people. It was ridiculous. And long story short, um, you know, we, we had everything ready to go Friday night and done. So we actually went up to the festival Friday night and, and finalized everything. And then, um, apparently when, when we were, um, doing something with the electronic bulk machine, we somehow loosened the button for the Pokeballs. Oh. So Saturday morning, we had to go back up there to reconnect the button. The button, the switch popped out. It was, you know, a simple fix. Oh, yeah. But but we didn't want to leave it because we knew that we would miss out on a ton of sales if we didn't, if we just left Especially it. Especially with all those people, man. It right, was right. Yeah. So, so we went up there Saturday morning, got that fixed. That was no problem. We're like, well, while we're here, we might as well you know, visit the the festival. Usually we go on Sunday mornings every year, but this year we were already there on Saturday. And before, before I, I talk about, you know, the, the actual festival, it took us like 25 minutes to find a parking spot. And it was, it was a pretty hefty distance away. So wow. it was like, this was probably the biggest it's ever been. So I'm glad we did all that prep work to make sure all the machines were ready. Yeah. Um, I did put a video clip in today's video. If you, if any of you out there want to see like how busy the festival was, there's a, a, a short video clip in today's video about it. And I'm sure I'll put it in probably the next video when like when we do the collection from the game store, which oh, will be coming no, no, no. soon. So you haven't done the collection yet. We haven't done the collection oh, yet. Nice. Probably probably gonna do that tomorrow. Okay. So so that'll all be fitted in, you know, kind of, you know, show show what, what the um 
what the festival looked like in that video too. Cause I, I did some B roll shots for, for, of the festival for the videos, uh, but not much of the actual festival, just some B roll. So you'll see that. Um, but you know, it's kind of funny now. I, I don't know if it was a combination of spring break or the festival or just the new location, but that ice cream shop, it's having Disneyland numbers. Nice. Yes. It's having Disneyland numbers. <laughs> it's first week. It did like almost, I think it did like $300. It's first week. So I'm like, so oh, awesome, man. I'm are so we at Disneyland? I think we might be. <laughs> so we, we flipped, we fl we flipped you to, you're going to be full-time amusement soon, or you think you're going to stick with the full line? So, so I'm never going to, um, eliminate the full line. I'm never going to disband of that. Um, you know, there's, there's some locations I obviously like way better than others. Like mm -hmm. if you saw today's video, I don't love that location. And if I ever had to call one location, that would probably be the one I would you know, get yeah. rid of, but, um, you know, it's content for the channel. Uh, I, you know, those guys, they're pretty cool. And, and, you know, they asked me to come there. So, you know, I'll probably just keep it for now, but, um, yeah. So, uh, I, obviously I'm not trying to grow the full line part of it and I'm only right. really trying to grow the amusement part Unless of it. Unless something but, falls in your lap like the last one. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like that top secret mm -hmm. location fell in my lap and, um, it's doing, you know, it's doing super, it's doing like two, two grand a month. So I can't go wrong nice. with that. Yeah, I can't be upset about that. It's, you know, I mean, if another location like that falls in my lap, I'll probably, you know, snatch it up too. Who knows? Um, but that location's getting busy too. Right now we have five machines there. We have, you know, the four brand new machines and then we have that one combo machine that we had at the barbershop. There was kind of a temporary machine there until we could get those new machines there. And then once the new machines came, we've just kind of had it there to see exactly how things were going to go. But I think at this point now we're, we're, we're comfortable with the amount of traffic and, and the amount of visits that we're going to that yeah. location that we can pull that fifth machine under there and just have four machines and it's going to work out well. Now that might bite me in the future, but you know, they, they actually, they want just the all new machines there. And they, they said it's probably good to take that combo machine out. So we'll be, we'll, we'll still be finding a new location for that machine. Who knows if we'll find another barbershop or what, yeah. uh, but there's, there's, I got my eye on a lot of spots. So well, we're starting to come around to yeah. where we're getting the calls like you. And it's like, I'm like, yeah. I tell Natalie, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do anymore. <laughs> like, right. you know, like we're, we're at the right. level now where it makes, and we have enough of those full line, enough full line machines that we could transfer things from different machines. And I feel yes. like it's a, it's, it's a good number right now and we could go more, but then that's also more of our time. And so I don't know. I don't know about that part. So we're, we're, we're kind of hemming and hawing because there's a couple of school um, departments that want machines and some other things that I've, I've approached Natalie about it. And I'm like, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know. I, right? I, I, I mean, yeah. like the amount of time I spend shopping for, for full line inventory compared to the, uh, being able to just place an order online for plush or prizes. Right. It's way different. You know, that, yeah. I mean, that's just, that's just one piece of it that a lot of people don't think about. Yep. True. So we got some good questions that came through. Um, some good real questions quick comment that we from did. 720 Venny. Saw yeah. it on Facebook today. Go ahead and read that one. 720 Vending says, my two new claw machines showed up today. It was so awesome. Those were from Pipeline, Pipeline if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. yeah, Pipeline Games. Very um, cool. Th their machines are, are, are hot looking. I mean, they just, you could see them a mile away. So um, he got a couple of those from Pipeline. He has some yeah. on Facebook. So congratulations, man. Those Very are the best cool. days for sure. Um, new machine days. Yeah, oh, you got look, love those. one of our winners from Yao. All things vending here. Says, went to check on my Yao Claw after two days. There was... $68 inside, saving for another one. For That's awesome. Days. For two days. Congratulations. That's I awesome. I love it. Nice. Very cool. That's what we're talking about. Two days, almost 100 bucks. Can't beat it. Very cool. Congratulations, man. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's so awesome. Um, Dirty Dan has a question for me. You want to read it? Actually, I'll show Yeah, you the question's for Jonathan. Dirty Dan says, where did you get your shirt made with the logo on it? I'm looking for some company merch. So um, we have a guy that we use locally. Um, so send me a message in Discord or email us. Our email is down below. Uh, and this guy is legit. Like he's got a really very, very expensive embroidery machine. And he does all of our stuff. So he does, we do shirts. I just took him today. Um, uh, we have, I have an Adidas shirt that I wear when I go golfing. And it's kind of like that really thin material that you can just wear over the top of like a polo. But then like by 11 o'clock, you just take it off. Um, and he's going to make me something on that, but I mean, nice. we get all of our, um, these are our bags that we take all our toys. Whoops. This way. So, yep. That um, way. Yeah. So, I mean, that's legit. Like that's how big he can do these logos and stuff. So we have like our sweatshirts, our jackets, our,
our um, everything done through him. So if you're looking for somewhere good, he ships all over the U.S. and he is. He's in our small town, but he and he's he's a graphic designer. He used to work for a newspaper, so he's really good at what he does. So he can also help you with the way things look and should or shouldn't do and that kind of stuff. So um, definitely contact me, and I will get you in touch with him because I'd love to give him some business. He's done great stuff for us. We've done hats, all kinds of stuff. So he's really cool. All right. Nice. Um, I do see there's another super chat from Waco in there if we want to pull that up. Oh. Where's oh is it, I miss it oh there it is you're right sorry all good <laughs> all right third is it the third super chat of the night from Waco yeah. I think it's the third all right Waco's car wash channel elevators and more uh, five dollar super chat says today I rode ten elevators in downtown Waco dang you're really, you're really going up you're really going up in life aren't you <laughs> that's great <laughs> good one that was a good one wait do I have I don't have do I have that I don't think so Sound effect. Uh, no, I th- you, you would have to right. manually add that. One. And guys, right. just so you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting over some, some cough and cold situations. So if my voice is off, I'm, I, I'm mute and cough. I apologize. It's going around. We had it. Yeah. We all had it. I had it yeah. in Vegas, unfortunately. Right. Um, so right. Uh, it wasn't fun. And then Natalie got it. So we're just now starting to get like kind of over the cough, you know, and it's yeah, like, yeah. what, a month? So, I mean, it's crazy. <coughs> yeah. Speaking of, I just cough. Speaking Anyways, of, there you go. But yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about the giveaway since it's 620. All right, let's talk about the giveaway. Yet. Okay, so let me add that to the screen. So while you're adding that, let me grab some plush for you to show you guys. So, okay. so I got my order from All Star this week. And let me just say, the, the, the people at All Star are so awesome, so nice to talk to, very helpful, you know, excellent customer service. I was really excited to get to work with them more. Now, I've ordered from them in the past, but I was really excited to start ordering some plush from them. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. So I won't add it till you're ready. Um, but it I, okay. okay. I've got ready? all kinds of plush here. All right. So, okay, here so don't don't I'm don't not put gonna, that big I'm yet. gonna take yeah. myself off. Okay. So you can. All right. So I got two. Actually, I got three different um, types of of prizes from All Star. But uh, the ones I'm gonna highlight today are medium sized plush. So there were two different styles I went with. First was just a generic medium style plush. And look how cool these are. I mean, very high quality, really nice looking. Um, this one, I don't know if it's like a, like a monkey or something, but it's like real furry and soft. Obviously, this is like a duck or a chick or something like that. And, um, you know, very high quality. But, but what I really want to highlight is the more premium stuff. And we talked about it last week. It's the velvety. Um, I think it's our, in, in the actual screen there, it says our velvety soft plush is back. You're good. You're good. You're good. You closed it. It's okay. Um, so, so let me highlight some of the velvety plush. So this is the velvety plush and my light is probably making it real, real bright, but here is, it looks like a duck wearing like a, like a costume, like a teddy bear costume. I, I know it's tough to see because my lights, because my lights right behind my camera. So it makes it bright and washed out a little bit, but it's so velvety and soft. The kids are going to love it. Here is like a little dinosaur. That's like velvety and soft. Now notice too, these ones have the regular eyes right? But they also have ones that have the glitter eyes, those big shiny glitter eyes. And this is obviously a unicorn, but it's also got like a metallic star pattern in it as well. And, uh, you know, the, the, the shiny hooves and so to speak, and the shiny unicorn horn, but it's got, like I said, those glittery eyes. And that, this is what I was shopping for this year. After Jen Venn gave her, her kind of presentation about, setting up your machines and, and the eyes play a key role in, you know, the player's psychology and wanting to play. I, I went shopping at the show the next day looking for all the plush with the coolest eyes. So I ordered from SSM, I ordered from All-Star and I went with some of these things that had these really cool like glitter big, like almost jewel like eyes because I thought that would really, you know, get people playing. So let's go ahead and make that big on the screen so everyone can see it there. Um, so our giveaway this time around is from All-Star Vending which many of you, if you went to the NBVA show, they had an awesome display. They had so many cool things. We're going to give you a $100 gift certificate to All-Star Vending. You can use it for anything available on their website. You can get some of that velvety soft plush like I showed off there. They also have bulk vending, vending supplies, lots of plush, lots of prizes for claw machines and other things like that. So many cool things. And all you guys need to do to sign up is just fill out a simple form on our Discord server per the usual. 
Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, you can find all the information down in the description. There's going to be a giveaway tab on the left-hand side per the usual. Let me pull up the Discord real quick and just check to see exactly what it's called so I can uh, make sure I call it out right. Oh, it's going to, it's going to, my Discord is not going to want to cooperate tonight, is it? My Discord is not cooperating, but once, once, oh wait, here it is. Okay, I found it. It's giveaway all-star 100, uh, it's actually giveaway dash all-star dash 100 dash gift dash <laughs> certificate. That yeah. is the tab. Now there's no, there's no little rocket ship right next to it top. this time. Yeah. That's what I was looking for the rocket ship and I couldn't find the rocket ship. But if I just open my eyes, I can see what and read like a, like a normal person. I, I can find the tab. So yeah, it's right. Maybe, it's right maybe near Delwig the top. Can add in a rocket ship just for something, something to make it stand out for sure. Okay. Delwig, if you're watching, can we add like a little icon next to the giveaway tab? So that way people can, it can grab people's eyes. But anyway, jump in there. Uh, all you need to do is, is uh, click on, um, I think it's, there's a little enter button in the, in the actual giveaway tab and that takes you to a form to fill out. And then super simple. We're going to draw the winner. I think in three weeks, right? It's going to be three weeks that we draw the winner three weeks First from tonight. Week May. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Frank, uh, Frank in the comments and Mr. Anime Frank says Frank can do this too. Well, Frank, if you want to add know, a little Frank icon in, in there. Yeah. He's in the nice. comments. He well, says, uh, he says Frank can do this too. So. By all means, sir, if, if you're able to add a little icon there on that tab so it's uh, eye-catching, we would really appreciate if you would do that. But but like I said, guys, fill out that form. Three weeks from tonight, we're giving away a $100 gift certificate to All-Star Vending. And guys, like I said, there there we go. We got a rainbow next to it. Thank you, Frank. Because the, <laughs> the All-Star logo is part of a rainbow. And I will say, too, um, on their plush... This one's a little bit more difficult to see, but they've got their all-star logo on all the plush too. So you can kind of see what that looks like. That's nice. their logo on the plush. And every plush comes with that logo on it. So it's very cool. Very high quality stuff. I really do like it. I'm definitely going to be ordering more. You can't beat the price and it's awesome filler yes. too. So like if you, you're like us, I mean, we're not big, huge, super crazy vendors who can you know order containers of, of licensed stuff at a time. So we have to basically order the licensed stuff like we did from All-Star and a few other places. Um, and then we order the filler stuff. What are you laughing at? I'm what laughing because now, because now, now Delwig and Frank are almost arguing in the comments. Uh, Delwig says, wow, I did that. He had to the rain. Well, Thank you, Delwig. I apologize. Yeah, you, I thought Delwig. I thought Mr. Anime Frank did it, uh, but if you did it, thank you, Delwig. We appreciate. Yeah, that. well, thank you because that fits. That's what they're all about. That's yes, their logo. exactly. So, thank you. so that, I think smart, that's perfect. Delwig. Thank you. Appreciate that. Very good job. Yes, Mr. thank Anime you so much. Frank, you're a little slow on the draw, but next time you can you can take <laughs> take credit for that. Oh, we have another super chat too. I just saw. Oh, that. and it's not from Waco. Here we go. All right, uh, Tyler Tally. I think this is the first time we're calling out Tyler Tally for a super chat. It's a four ninety nine super chat. It says, "Hey guys, new to the business, just bought my first two machines. Was curious where the best dealer for Pokemon plush was." Um, that's a tough one. It's Tyler. a tough one because technically you're not supposed to put Pokemon plush in your machine. So a lot of yep. a lot of dealers won't sell it to you if you're putting Pokemon plush in your machine. So you can put it in your prize lockers, things like that. And I think. Um, toy, toy biz um what is it called um toy box hq or no, toy box no, no not them the the toy biz oh toy biz uh, they had they had a display at NBA. yeah yeah yes NBA. so toy biz um they basically I have their card somewhere they do redemption and they yes. they're the only ones that carry pokemon in the united states but it's for redemption only meaning that it's at a counter that people can upgrade or buy those things from the, the redemption they will not do it for machines so you but it, it can be going prize lockers though can it like um, prize lockers because that's redemption i don't even think it's allowed to go in really well unless you, you, like you might want to call prize locker you might, i don't you might know wanna, you might want to call and check with them yeah uh, but you're not supposed to put it in your actual claw machine so yep. i think they have a disclaimer they're on the their only website. ones that i know of yeah. that are like that that you they they very restrict on and that's why you got to be careful with pokemon stuff because there is a lot of rules when it comes to sure pokemon. so totally. stick with cards or boo packs or that kind of stuff is is just as exciting for people um totally, especially if they're totally. pokemon fans they love the cards and so that's why we put those in our machines and they do very well so yeah Absolutely. so gumball gold actually he just commented he said gumball gold says i uploaded a video answering questions about pokemon and why i don't sell it oh huh. all right thanks for sharing so, yeah so i'll have to check that out and see 
but yeah, so that's they're very strict on that. So that's that's the hard part with that, Tyler. Is it, but maybe you can get your own FEC since you just got started. I say six months from now you'll have your own FEC and then you'll be ready to have your own redemption counter. There you go. Pokemon stuff. So I see it coming. So if we get up to fifty, I will make the announcement. I see forty. Uh, I see forty nine right now. Oh, you do. Okay, I do. So I we're, see we're getting very close. Um. So I went back through all. There was. A, I thought there was one more question. Um, Claude Dad had a good comment. He says, okay. "Guys, I ordered my first Nyax. I'm super excited to finally get one on my Super Mini. That's oh, cool. cool. Oh, there he is. I didn't see that yeah. one. There you go. Nice. There you go. So that's cool." Him and his I kids are it. killing it. They're doing yeah. really well. And they're very yeah. active in the Discord. We appreciate that. Thank you for Absolutely. talking to everybody and sharing information. That's what it's all about. Um, yeah, very cool. So congratulations, you guys. You're doing really well. And I think yes. that that's – you're going to you're gonna wonder why you hadn't done it sooner when you get that thing set up and you get to see all the stuff you can do with those credit card readers. Cause it, it's, it's crazy, not, too. Like like I said, 70% of my sales – 60 to 70% of my sales go through <gasps> those NIAX readers in most of my locations. Now, of course, like the laundromat, that's a little bit different because everyone's always just got change in their pocket. So, you know, it's mostly change at that location. Right. But it really, like like my truck accessory shop, it went from doing $60 a month to sometimes up to $500 a month by adding credit card readers because none of those guys carried cash. Yeah. So it's just nuts. It's just nuts how, how life-changing they can be. For sure. Oh, got another super chat? Another super chat. That. Oh, this one from Neon Starship says, uh, it's a $2 super chat. It says, howdy, gentlemen. Hope you're, you all, you're all well. Cheers. Oh, nice. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, everybody, we're good. It's it's Wednesday night. It's hump day, you know, halfway through the week. And um, we did, so I don't know if I told you our, our toy debacle of 2024 is that we completely ran out of mini toys. Like we had, I went in, we had two machines that we had taken off location to and to put bigger machines in we put a, ga a galaxy in one and a magic key in another because uh, we upgraded the locations so i had two machines in our garage that were maybe half full of toys and at the end of last week and i was clean scavenging those out. Yes. toys out of those machines i mean that's how bad it was um and so make sure you guys don't do like the Howard Hospitality Group did this year and make sure that you plan ahead to have a little bit of a buffer between your orders because sometimes even if you think you're doing it on time, like I changed our order a couple times and then, you know, it gets shipped and, and then all of a sudden there's two extra days at port or whatever. Just make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get your toys and, um, you know, or if you're ordering or you need stuff or you're worried about running out of stuff, order the stuff like we did out of the States that came you know, a few days before. So we had that ready um, just in case. Luckily, we got the stuff and we got to mix it all up. But man, it was close. Like it was really You were close. pushing pushing the edge. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So <laughs> another super chat. All right, another super chat. This one coming in from 720 Vending, a $5 super chat. It says, today's video was unboxing my newest e-port for my claw machines. Discount code available, smiley face. Yeah, he's got it in the Discord. So if you're looking to do cantaloupe on your machines, credit card readers, um, 720 Vinny has a code, and there that you will go. help him. So, Oh, we are at 52 viewers. Yeah, okay. 52 viewers. Gosh. So I guess you can talk about some some new updates, right? Oh, oh my God. This is so exciting. I don't do you have any know. visuals for us? Uh, I do. So um, okay, everybody who has an iPhone... Grab your iPhone and get on, get into Safari. Everybody who has a PC, get on and go to Google. Uh, go to your whatever web browser you want. I guess uh, whether it's what do you use, Chrome or whatever. I use so Chrome. Go, yes. Okay, so go in there and type in www. I'm gonna pull it up on my screen too. Let me share my screen. Right. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of that one. Share my screen. Window. Here it is. Okay. So share. Go to is in there oh there it is okay ready okay, okay yes. go to www.clawstand.com Ooh, look at this so you know i think i think, <laughs> you, I think you missed out on an opportunity though oh okay what is it y your url should have been onlystands.com oh yeah oh that's funny <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So this is it, you guys. Wow, this is look at Howard that. This hospitality claw stand. Um, and if you scroll down, uh, 
all the patents are in, everything's done. And if you click on the solution is here, uh, it takes you to a page where you can actually see what it looks Look like at that. in person. Um, that is our design of it before we sent it off. Um, what we did is we actually teamed up those of you who are familiar with Rainy in the Discord, um, who does Mega Minis. She's actually building these for us. And so we sent off our drawings, our designs, and she went to her people and they recreated it over there. And actually we went back and forth. It's been going on for about six months now um, of different things that we've added. And I'll kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is actually the stand right here without the claw machine on it, of course. So this back piece right here um, is optional if you want to use it at your location or not. So it's an added piece that if you have your claw machine up against the wall, you don't need this piece. Um, this is if you were having it further away from the wall, more maybe like freestanding, you can add this piece if it's centered in a room somewhere or something like that so they can't tilt it backwards. If it's against the wall, you don't need to worry about that so you don't have to add it. So that was an added feature that we added to make it so you could get it closer to the wall if you wanted to without having that plate or you can add the plate to make it even more sturdy so they can't rock it forward or backwards but the stand is 50 pounds um it's it's heavy it's a heavy solid steel stand. i mean right it's solid steel um so these brackets right here they're actually um the bolts come through the bottom of the stand and are fixed on the stand but these um uh, what do you call it? These brackets right here actually will have, they have grooves cut in them so they'll go in or, in or out. So no matter what claw machine you have, whether you have a mini, um, super mini or a, a AZ Amusements um, Golden House or, or a, you know, um, a Mega Mini, it'll fit any of those machines. So it's universal for any machine, which is absolutely awesome because then it allows you to be able to to you know to buy one stand for any machine which is pretty cool and then right now once we got it done and because i designed one that kind of fit all machines but once we put it on the og mini we thought it was a little bit too big so she's actually we we shrunk it down and they're recreating it a little smaller for the og mini so there actually will be a second stand just for og minis that you can order um, and so, cause it just, I, we just thought it looked too big. We just wanted it to be aesthetically pe pleasing too. Um, but you guys like for, for what it does, the fact that you're talking about not only people shaking your machine to get your prizes, but the fact of like it falling over on somebody like liability issues, that kind of stuff. Like it's absolutely amazing. Like it does everything that we wanted it to do. Um, and it took a lot of time. I mean, the guys here at the fabrication shop and I spent about six months, uh, going through different designs and recreating it to make it as small as we could, um, but as sturdy as we could. And as, as you know, so you couldn't tilt it or shake it or anything like that. And it turned out awesome. So, um, so that's basically the claw stand. Um, and then if you go down, so what we did was originally when we, if we were to make these in the States, you know, you're talking probably about $250 per stand just to create them here. Um, and so, when I originally approached Rainy about it, she's like, oh, no, it'll be quite a bit less, you know, and, and actually came out to be $100 less to create it with Rainy. Um, so the stands were only $150 to create, but the issue is that they're 50 pounds each. So the shipping is where it becomes the issue. So it actually turned out to be about the same price as you would have, if you would have made it here in the States. But the difference being is that if you actually order machines from Rainy, um, you get a ship for free. So you don't pay that $100 shipping. So if you plan on ordering some Mega Minis or some, um, uh, you know, some anything else that she carries, you can just put it on the pallet with the machines and then you don't pay the shipping, which is pretty awesome. So the goal for us is to actually um, sell about a thousand of these and then I can get some over here and then start shipping them in the US and save you guys a bunch of money. So that's kind of our goal. So we're doing pre-sales right now. We think they'll be ready um, and completely done. They're already, it's already done and created. She's sending me, um, cause they, they had a specially designed a box for it. So she's sending me in the box so I can look at it like physically. Uh, and just approve everything and then um, it should be ready to ship out to you guys. So um, we like to get as many pre-orders as we can, get it going and see how popular it's going to be. Um, but it solves all the issues that we've been having and we just can't wait to get them on our machines either. So we got one 
on the one we made is on location and it solved all those problems so we're very happy about it but so anyways questions concerns throw them in the throw them in the um in the chat uh, or contact us but you guys can go here and um check them out order it whatever you want to do or contact us also and uh pretty exciting so yeah well, I think everyone's super excited. Lots of great comments. Lots of people uh, asking questions in the comments, uh, mainly about the price and, and different things like that. So very yeah. cool. Glad uh, so, glad you were able yeah, to address all that. Even 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 at, you know, two, what is it, 250 for the stand, even at that price for the amount of what you get out of it, like the prizes you would have lost or the liability problems you could have had with insurance or that kind of, I mean, it saves you money in the long run for sure. And totally. you don't have totally. those those complaints and you know we get them from business owners all the time um of them saying you know oh, people are shaking a machine and and knocking all the toys out yeah. of it or whatever yeah. and um it solves all that so yeah pretty cool but the prices are on there it'll, it's all explained the reason the shipping is because of the weight and there's not much we can do to get around that it just costs a lot of money to ship it so there you go but it's right to your door which is pretty sweet so boom great. um well, yeah, I, th so I think everyone's super excited to see uh, that it, it's finally been revealed. Your only yeah. stands. Yeah. So <laughs> it's been a long process. So it was about eight or nine months just for the patent. And then, um, and then it took us about another four months or so with rainy and redesigning and changing and, and making it work. And, and we designed it around uh, the mega mini um, because I already had it designed around the um, golden house. So that's what we had the most of. And they're almost identical, you know, as far as the size and everything. So it worked out really good because then yep. it translated really easily, which was really cool. So it's very cool. Um, and, and I really think it's going to help a lot of people. And that's, that's what it's about, you know, is helping people not run into problems or save money or not get in trouble with liability. So sure. that's the goal. Anyways. Very cool. Cool. Well, so, while we were talking about your claw stand, yes. we did have a super chat from Nicole. Oh, Nicole's here in, in the uh, in the chat. Oh, Let's go ahead and is. find yeah. that and highlight that. Sure, sure, sure. There we go. Nicole joining us. Hey, Nicole. Thanks for joining us and thanks for the super okay. chat. Uh, it uh, it's a five dollar super chat. Says, "Hi, friends. Galaxy Games eight four three and Howard Hospitality Group. How are you doing? You both are cool. Hashtag spread kindness. Hashtag spread oh, love. Yes. Nice. Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate that." Thank Good you, to Nicole. see you here with us this week. Good to see you doing stuff online too and staying yes. active. Yes. Very cool. So Agreed. Yeah. Um, uh, Elite Claw Amusements wants to know, do you have any videos with the uh, prototype that you made or anything like that for the claw stand? Videos? No. Um, we just have the one. So we have basically what I did is we made the one and then I took all the measurements and designs off it and then send it off to Rainy. And it's actually on location uh, cause I wanted to test it too. So we've been, it's been on location for about three and a half, four months. Um, and it was at a location that we had it in another room. It wasn't in the main room where the ice cream and all the stuff was where everybody kind of hangs out. It was kind of like back towards where you go to the bathrooms and we couldn't figure out, we weren't, we didn't have that much money in our machine. It was another one of those locations. We got two like that. It's like um, my old one, ice cream shop. Yeah. One we upgraded yeah. to a bigger machine, but this one we couldn't figure it out. And finally, uh, the owner said, Hey, you know, I got some video to show you. And we went in the back and he showed us sure enough, these kids are just, I mean, they're full on like shaking it. Like, I mean, they're like, so this, you've really got to like, I mean, you've got to put all your weight and jump on the top of it. And like, you know, to get it to even come back because it's got so much weight at the bottom and it sticks out so far in the front, you can't, it's not easy to tilt. So they really, it can be done, but it's, it takes a lot of effort to get to that point where they're not going to, they're going to try, but it's not, they're not going to do it because it's just, it's too much. And, um, it really solves that problem. So now we don't have that issue anymore, which is pretty cool. So we put the stand there we on go. it. And, there we go. Yeah. So. Love anyways, it. Yeah. So, um, so super and, exciting and, news. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. Um, Steve, um, here, let me pull that up and then you can All say right. it. Steve wants to know, can we give an update on Venturance? How does it work? Thanks. Um, as far as I know, there are no updates on Venturance and I am not versed enough to speak on it right now. Um, yeah. I, I know it's something that Andy at CandyMachines.com is working on, 
but I don't know all the details for me to speak on it at this moment. Jonathan, do you have any, any yeah, info? What, what he's, he needs you guys to go and fill out that form that he posted. It's like, on. An, it's like an interest form, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's an interest form because basically what he needs to get a certain amount of people um, interested in doing the insurance and then he can, because it's not, they don't make any, Candy Machines is not going to make any money on the insurance. Um, it has nothing to do with them. They're just trying to provide it for everybody. And But he needs to get enough people involved to get it going. So um, if you want to ask questions, I would just go into the Discord and go to the Candy Machines uh, um, totally. channel and just directly just, just text Andy. He's in there every day. I see him in there answering questions and stuff. And so um, just, just ask him directly, you know, and then maybe he'll even – go into that channel i mean he has full access to that channel maybe he can um uh you know um pin, post some pin, stuff and, yeah pin, pin some, some stuff, messages yeah. and stuff on mm -hmm. there uh showing a little bit more about it or whatever um but yeah definitely people are very interested uh the only other options right now is like um state farm or um if you have local business insurance companies in your town or right. something that can provide it but in california like state farm's not doing business insurance right now so um or new business insurance so that's hard for people to get state farm but across the u.s it's fine but just not in california so uh there's gonna be a lot of people interested for sure um so he's trying but that's where that's as far as i know where it stands is that you need to just direct message him in there uh and he'll answer totally. so um Austin B, I, I go ahead and go ahead and read it. Sorry, I almost did it again. <laughs> You're ready to jump. You're ready to jump and, and solve, right. answer that question. Austin B wants to know: Do you? He says, uh, and "This is a question. Do you have to pay through PayPal to get claw stand?" So I, that's the only way I could do payments on the website um, was through PayPal. That was the only option that they had available to me on there. That. Um, that I could use. So um, you can use whatever card you want through your yes, PayPal. Yes, you, you can use um, your credit card through PayPal. Yeah, Correct. so you just put your, whatever credit card you want to use, you use through PayPal, but also PayPal protects you. So it's kind of, as far as, you know, there's been bad talk about it in the past and stuff, but it, it's pretty pretty good now, as far as I understand that it's even up there with Venmo and all the other ones that. And as far as I know too, you don't even need to have a PayPal account. You can do mm -hmm. you can check out as a guest and use your credit card, but it's yep. just pay, PayPal would be the processor in this case. Yeah, yeah. So, and of course they take a little bit out of there because that's the only way that that you can do it. So otherwise you have sure. to pay uh, licensing and all that other stuff. So or merchandise right. fees and stuff. So, um, but that was the only one that was available to us for that's for doing the site and maybe well, it'll change, but right now that's all I had available to choose from. So, um, let's see. Um, there's a great question from you crave. If you want to highlight that one real quick, just came in. Oh um, yeah, I see it. You crave wants to know if you can team up with candy machines and AZ amusements to offer the stands as an add on to their machines. I think, uh, I think the answer is yes. But it all, you know, that all would probably rely on Candy Machines and AZ Amusements to accept that or approve that, right? Right, and and, <laughs> and I've I've laid it out. I've asked both of them um, to to see if they would be interested in doing that, and that's totally up to them um, and what their plans are with stuff. But they basically would have to buy them and then then keep them here in, in the states, and and they'd probably go up in price a little bit because they need to make some profit out of doing that also because they're. We took them down basically as low low as we could, and it just covers our costs of doing stuff with the website and the stuff that we need to do. We're not trying to make a bunch of money on them, um, but if somebody else helped us, they would probably go up in price a little bit if they offered them because they got to pay all their fees for their websites and shipping and and all that stuff. So it would probably go up a little bit in price if I if we did do that versus direct from the manufacturer. So that could be negative. I don't know. But so. exploring all options, basically. Yes. Albert wants to know, are the stands ready to ship? Should be soon. Um, that's why we're doing pre-sale right now, because we think by the end of the month, uh, they should start shipping. That's the goal. Um, they're pretty much, it's the, the, the actual, it's done. Like, they, they just need to create them at that point. Um, and, but I really, I, I want to see one before I start sending them out. So the final... You know what I created and what they created. There could be a difference, and I really want to see it in person and put it on a machine um, and try it on. Because we have super minis and we have golden houses, uh, which they don't at their factory. So I want to attach it to both those and make sure 
everything works the way it's supposed to so they don't end up at people's houses and don't work or something. Not that it would, but you never know. I just want to be really careful make sure everybody gets what they're expecting. It's, it's you know? called testing and quality control. Yeah, yeah. I'm big in the quality control. OCD type QC. A. <laughs> yeah, all that rolled into one. So, Captain Amco reminded everyone: be sure to like the stream, give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so. Yeah, yeah, we haven't even talked about that tonight. Smash that yeah. like button, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Captain Namco, for the reminder too. Uh, he says, David. "I'll pull pull that back up. I was going to read oh, it sorry. out." I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. He says, "Be sure to like the stream <laughs> really if you bad. haven't done done so already. Get the word out for some of my favorite YouTube vendor friends. Here, they all have amazing vending content out there. Thanks, Captain." Yeah. So cool. And there's what so many new ones. There's so many new ones uh, that are out yeah. there right now that are, I mean, young new entrepreneurs that started their own YouTube channels and are doing really good stuff. Uh, Tinker Toys mm -hmm. and Hobbies. Uh, Nathan, I can't remember his last name um, off the top of my head, but all Johnson. of them. Nathan Johnson. Thank you. God, yeah. I couldn't think of that. Such, um, such an uncommon last name. <laughs> <laughs> that's what getting old does to you but um but they just need to take some ginkgo biloba over there man. yeah 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 something <laughs> um some sort of supplement i don't know but they they really i mean they've been helping a lot of people and it's very yeah. cool so and that's yeah i'm really thing. i'm really liking that yeah um, i feel like i feel like for you know pre-pandemic right in like 2018 2017 2019 like vending content like there were some big time youtube vending content creators right and I feel like, like when I got started in 2019 and into the pandemic, I feel like a lot of it kind of dropped off because let's be honest, vending was a tough time right then. You know, <coughs> businesses were closed. Um, you know, everybody was afraid of touching stuff. So therefore, yeah. um, I think a lot of the vending content kind of fell off of YouTube and it's nice to see it starting to come back around and other people getting interested and in starting to create more content. Cause I, th I think the more content, the better, right? Because we all want to see and learn and, and see, you know, how other people do things. So Guess I love seeing. I oh, sorry, I didn't interrupt you. Guess who no, I watched good. two videos from this week that I have not watched a video from in about eight months was Aaron Clawkicker. Aaron Clawkicker. I watched. I watched the videos too. Yeah, you watched it's nice the two to video? videos. Yeah, and it's. I would. I, I would like to think that we all had a little something to do with that because you know, you know, we we all got to hang out in Vegas, <laughs> and uh, you know, a lot of times we were saying, "Hey, remember when you know I used this video of yours to do this?" Or you know, we yeah. we all had those conversations with Aaron, and I think maybe it might have just kind of like like us last year at Vegas, kind of lit that fire and kind of gave us that little kick we needed to get more motivated and start, you know, doing more. So it's good well, to see with, him making videos again. Yeah. And I think with everything that happened last year, I think it kind of kicked him down a little bit, you know, like I think he, he, a lot of us who were doing that, these types of videos and the stuff that we were doing, like when we left, I yeah. was like, I even had a little bit of a kick in the gut kind of feeling where I was like, yeah. I, you know, like, see, I had the opposite effect. Yeah, I know it, you did. It, yeah. it made me go harder. <laughs> so for me, you know, I was like, well, shoot, you know, am I doing the right thing? You know, like, what are we trying to do? And I thought we were helping people. And I just we think are. it took me a little while. We I are. know. But and, it took and me a little while. And you know what? The NBVO sh NBVA show this year proved, it proved all that. Yeah. Definitely proved all that. Yep. Love it. All right. Another super chat just came in. This time from HG Vending. You want to go ahead and pull that up? Oh, yeah. HG Vending again. We're calling out some new Super Chat names tonight, which is awesome. This is a $10 Super Chat. Thank you so wow. much for that. Says, going to catch up tomorrow, but wanted to check in while I get inventory ready. Have a great show, boys. That's awesome. Man, yeah. sounds like us. What a you know, it's, it's funny, too, because like all a lot of times, so obviously I'm, I'm here during the show, right? I mean, you see me, you hear me talking. But it's funny because I'll listen to the replays while I'm doing pre-kidding and stuff like that because I've got, I've got my Amazon device right here in the office or in the studio, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of times I'll listen to replays when I'm doing stuff like that. Cause it, it's just fun to fun to kind of relive the show even after it's already over. Well, um, people like I'll talk to Jen Ben or somebody and, and then she'll say, Hey, you know, I listened to the podcast or I watched it or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And she'll say, I really liked when you talked about this or that. And, and so sometimes I'll go back and listen too and just yeah, see, yeah. cause there's some stuff that we cover that we kind of forget to cover. And I think it's good to go back sometimes and listen. Oh, to, well, to and, and honestly too. So, so, after two hours of this, and, and I'm sure you guys probably are the same way, but after two hours of this show, it's kind of a little bit of a blur, some of the things we talked about, right? I mean, because we yeah. talk about so many things and we jump around and, you know, inevitably we sometimes go off the rails too. That happens. So I, I like to, you know, go back, especially some of those really fun shows we've had, like those shows that where they end, I'm like, man, 
that was such a fun show or that was an awesome show. Yeah. So I, I really like to go listen to some of those again. Question from Opaque. Opaque, let's pull it up. All right, Opaque wants to know, have you guys ever considered switching to Tesla or EV for the business? I'm on the verge of switching, just going to wait around a year. Well, David already has. Yeah. David's 100%, on EV. 100%, Opaque, 100%. So we've been looking at... Um, we were looking at a Chevy Bolt for a while. Um, it's a little small, we think. So then we started looking. I mean, we wanted a Tesla, but they were pricey. But I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Teslas have come down a lot in price. And so you can Especially get... Especially the one model. Yeah, like the Tesla Y, because um, they're not coming out with the new version of it till next year. So it's yeah. down in price, uh, and it's a great value. And so we've been looking at that for about probably at least six seven months now um because we're seriously considering it because in california i don't know about everywhere else but like every 30 miles or 40 miles there's a charging station so i mean it's it's relatively easy to get it they offer a lot of discounts so like right when you buy an ev right now in california you immediately get the 7500 7500 um discount the the tax credit right at the the day you buy it which is pretty awesome so you don't have to wait for the tax season to come and yeah. then also um the fact that um you know all the electrical suppliers in california give you a discount when you have an ev car on your nice electricity so for us in california we have to pay everything else is very expensive it's nice to have something to save us a little bit of money so we probably how much do you spend in gas we spend over 600 and something dollars a month honestly so you you know so i've been focusing a lot on that downtown area of my town mm. which is literally like a like a seven minute drive so you know a lot of my a lot of my stuff is there um the uh, it's it's funny because that road that leads into downtown that was closed off for the festival you know it, it the kind of at the other end of that road is where the laundromat is so like so many of my locations are pretty close by yeah now, obviously like you know we go to sam's club a lot now so that <laughs> that's in the next town over so that you know that takes some 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 fuel um the diesel garage is you know a little bit further away but that one we don't go to that often and then the truck accessory shop is kind of in the same area as Sam's Club is. So we always time, you know, visiting that location with our trips yeah. to Sam's Club too. So it's really not that bad for us. Plus, you know, I just Man. paid I paid three oh eight a gallon today. So Jeez. Yeah. Or I mean, fifty four a gallon today. So, the so gas it's, station. It, honestly, you know, an E V would be like a cool thing to have, but it's not on my radar right now for the size of my business currently. Well, and I, I Maybe think someday. That that's, but. that's a really good point to make is that uh, opaque is that I think it depends on your business and your location. So like yeah. all of our routes are a minimum of thirty minutes away. So we have a few machines in our town, you know, like small sure. stuff, but a couple minis here or there. But everything else, we have four large routes that are a minimum of 30 minutes away and our furthest is almost two hours away. So um, we've got quite a bit of distance that we travel a week doing our, or every other week, whatever we do in our locations. And so we spend a lot of time in the car, uh, a lot of gas and for 450 a gallon, where everybody else is paying, you know, like you can see on some of this, people are posting 275, 286. We yeah. that here, we're at 454 a gallon um so people that are saying oh yeah you know it's it, whatever and and for the gas is they're charged just as much for gas as they do for like it's not true not in california so everywhere else is different i mean it's half the price here for right. electricity versus gas so for us it makes all the sense in the world um also too you don't have any maintenance so i mean they don't have an engine so you don't have to worry about taking it in and get it serviced all the time or any of that stuff you got to buy tires that's about it so all those kind of things add up around here when you're driving a lot of miles on your car uh it can it can weigh on you pretty heavy so for you it just depends on your location your business and what you do you yeah, know it, for, it doesn't make sense for me plus plus yeah. my regular job i work from home so therefore i don't have to drive for work or anything either so well, and David's the same as us. So he's down yeah. in, in Arizona, but his routes are far away. So um, he's got some really long routes. So for him, sure. it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. So, and then, you know, the heat and everything else and all that kind of stuff. So it can take a pretty good wear and tear on your car too. Totally, so, totally. Yeah. Anyways, so definitely look at it from that point of view of, of your business. You know, it doesn't make sense for everybody, but sure, you know, not like Gumball Gold. You can go drive around your Corvette and collect from your machines and stuff you know what i mean like we're not we're not that good but we're, we, we we wouldn't be able to afford it like that can you imagine how much gas because you have to put like premium in those don't you 
I've never owned a Corvette, so I couldn't Corvette, tell you. <laughs> you know. Well, um, he has a Corvette that he goes and collects from his candy machines and stuff. And because um, I watch his videos every now and then. And but like for us, that would be like five something a gallon. Like we couldn't afford to do that. So for us, it's got to be EV at some there point. You there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, we're halfway through the stream. Do we want to talk about the giveaway <laughs> again? <laughs> it's expensive. 93 octane. Yeah. Oof. Hmm. Couldn't do it. Around town, cool. You know, I could totally see it, you know, but not not our route. There's no way we wouldn't be able to afford it. But yeah. So and in California, any kind of gas is expensive, unfortunately. I just can't believe you pay so little, Matt. Like I just it blows my mind. Four fifty four today a gallon. And of course, I waited till the gas tank was empty to go fill up today when it's been the most expensive it's been in like two weeks. So well, it's funny. So, like, I, the reason why I know it was 308 is because I went and filled the vending truck today. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think of the last time I actually put gas in the vending truck. It's probably been three or four weeks, honestly. It's been forever. Because, you know, um, I, I, I honestly barely drive it. Yeah. We've been taking the SUV a lot more for everything. Well, your um, truck's really nice, though, too. Like, it's nice yeah. to have something like those trucks. I mean, the air conditioners, I mean, where you live, it, it's like humid and hot. So, like, having just a, a little car, bit, just a little yeah, bit. having a car with really good air conditioning and, and that yeah. kind of and a lot of room yeah. inside, it's nice. You know, that's kind of when we were looking at the bolt and stuff. We're like, this is really small. Like, I don't know if we yeah. can handle, you know, doing this and sitting in there. So, anyways, um, but everybody has their things. You know, some people like electric vehicles, some people don't. It's it's totally what works for your company and you and your business. And so, yeah. We're the right high. on, right on. Yeah. Okay. So, um, want to go and pull up the, uh, the all-star stuff again? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on one second. We are halfway through the stream. If, if Mulberry vending was here, if Mulberry vending was here, she would say it's a uh, 10 at 10. So oh, yeah. she's not here tonight. Got the baby. She's okay. got her hands full. It was cool that she was she joined us for a bit last week, though. Yeah. I was surprised that she stayed up because usually she said she'd been going to bed early. Let's see. Um, right. Go. There you are. She, there. Okay. Got it. All right. Ready? And All right, guys. We made our giveaway info even more easier to find in the Discord. Remember, there's a little rainbow icon on the tab that you're looking for in the Discord for the All-Star Vending $100 gift certificate giveaway. And let me just say, guys, like I said, I just received my order from All Star, and their uh, items are super good quality. Whether you do bulk vending, cranes, um, you know, tattoo sticker machines, any of that kind of stuff. I mean, look at some of the examples here on your screen. We've got uh, two point five inch jumbo slow rise fast food squishies. I mean, you know, all the kids are gonna love that stuff, and those could go honestly. I mean, those would do really well in like an OG mini or even in like a bulk vending machine. So if you wanted to look into something like that, that would be something really cool. Um, also, then on the left, you can see the the Velvety Soft plushes back, which is some of the things I highlighted prior, uh, the last time we talked about it. They've got some really nice stuff, some really high quality stuff, everything tagged with the all-star vending tag. So that's good to go. And then in the middle there, you know, there's a lot of bulk vending options too. They've got... Um, Taking a look, at, it's not as big on my screen, so I'm trying to see, but I, I see there's uh, some cool jewelry, mini animals, uh, looks like maybe some ninja guys kind of thing, slap hands, like all kinds of cool stuff. So like I said, not only do, do they have all that, but they also have, like I said, tattoos and stickers and a lot of that, a lot of options there. And I also, um, you know, when I was do you doing more, stuff? yeah, we can, we can, we can show uh, I'll yeah. bring you back. Bring me, let's see. All right. So, so I'm, again, I'm going to highlight some of the velvety plush. This is the high yeah. quality velvety plush. And, and like I said, you know, a lot of plush with, that you get from other places, it's just, you know, it's super generic. Um, and not that super generic is bad because you need filler stuff for your machines. But um, this with this not being having a license with it. Right. So this is really good stuff. And it's, it's super soft and the kids are going to love it. And I, I really love some of these ones with, you know, these these really cool eyes. Look how cool those eyes are. They're sparkly like big jewels and that's just going to attract people into play. And I mean, it's super cute too. We got, we got a, a, a duck with like a, I don't know if that's supposed to be a teddy bear or like, you know, a dog costume or something. Velvet plush, they're they so feel, soft. Like, they yeah, feel it's like, it feels really nice and they're, you know, really good quality. Like I said, a little bit squishy, which is, you know, the kids like too. And some of them even come with like, 
these little suction cup things. So if you've got like a mirror on the back of your claw machine, you can stick them up there too. All that good stuff, which is which is awesome. So guys, in three weeks, we're going to give away that $100 gift card. All you need to do is fill out that form on the Discord, find the tab with the little rainbow icon next to it, and it says something along the lines of, well, let me go pull it back up so I can see. It says the giveaway all-star $100 gift certificate. That's the name of the tab, and it's got the rainbow on the left-hand side. So go fill out that form, get registered to win, and in three weeks, we're going to draw a winner. Very cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Good drawing. It, well, good good prize in the fact that I think anything that that <laughs> excuse me. I know it's <laughs> like it's like it's like, cough, it's like it's like it's like cough night. It's um, cough. But it's, uh, it's contagious on on the stream tonight, guys. Hope hopefully all of you out there aren't coughing too. Well, what I think I I like best about our giveaways is that they're they help everybody's bottom line. So yes, whether yes. it's you know plush or a gift certificate for plush or toys for your your bulk or whatever it may be from all-star or you get a machine or whatever it may be like that's money you don't have to spend to grow your business which is pretty awesome and that's kind of the whole point of all it's, this is then it's funny it's funny you mentioned that because obviously none of us are you know putting our names in for these giveaways that just wouldn't be right but i did buy nbva tickets for the giveaways there yep. and when I put all my tickets in where it was all the different plush um, mixes that they had, I didn't go yeah. for any of the stuff that like would be for me. I put it all in for all the plush mixes and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's so. because you know that that, that saves you money. For yeah, the exactly. Line, and so exactly. you're making more money on the machines and, and, and goes back in so you can buy more machines and grow your business. And so any, any, all these giveaways are just great because not only can you make money on stuff or save money or whatever, it's just it's just a huge help. So thank totally, you to yeah, all totally. of our sponsors, especially we really All appreciate this it. Month. Yes, amazing. And so thank you so much, you guys. Totally great, great. absolutely amazing. Um, I, you need a cough button. Well, I I I'm, I'm <laughs> muting. I'm muting every time I cough. Oh, you are. Yeah. I should can, be doing I mean, that. I mean, I mean, can you hear me? Can you hear me when I cough? No, I cannot. You're right. I didn't. I didn't know you did that. <laughs> <laughs> i was just testing it so I, uh, you couldn't hear what i just said pretty cool i don't, I don't know how oh, yeah I do yeah have a mute button right there's there. a I mute button now. under under the main screen for you there so if you nah, need to cough you can just mute real quick and cough okay yeah um i didn't see it because my camera is like right in front of my face so it's covering that bottom part uh, of the screen see i i'm i've got multiple screens going i've got my camera right here um and of, of course i uh because I, I try to be as interactive as possible so i've got multiple things happening over here yeah, mine's like my phone and Discord and like all this stuff going on. But I'm trying to cut down on Windows too because like my Mac is really old and I don't know how much longer it's going to sure, make it. So sure. I got to be careful too. It's time to get um, yourself a, a gaming PC that's all, all souped up for your streams and for your editing and all that good stuff. That's what I had to do. Because yeah. I was, I previously, I was trying to use a laptop too and it just wasn't working all the time. Well, these MacBooks are great, you know, and, but I mean, I've had since 2015, so I think it's so about it's time to nine years old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nine years old. Um, it's held out this long and I do a lot of, you know, videos and graphics and stuff with it and it's, yeah, it's yeah. the whole lawn. Um, but for I me mean, for that long, nine years is a pretty good run with a computer and being able to haul it around and stuff, but it is, it is. So it's, overdue. I mean, it, it's a business expense, man. Come on. Yeah. But it's also like five or six grand and they're, they're expensive. So I we're not there you, yet, guys. We'll you can there. buy you could buy a way way amazing gaming computer for probably way less than half that cost. You know. You know what's weird is that I was a PC guy for the longest time, and mm -hmm. then I, first I started out as a Mac guy back in the day with my Mac SE little tiny box computer. Well, back in school, that was all we had access to, yeah, right? And and everything then, was Mac in school. And then video games like on Oregon Trail came out and all those back in the day, like at school on in Commodore sixty fours and stuff. Yeah, and started yeah. to the craze of like desktop computers started taking off and I went to Sacramento and that was when building computers was like the big thing. You know, it, it was like a huge just you could go there and have anything you want put together and there was fries and like all these places you could buy all these parts and make them crazy. I never got to go to fries. Oh my god. We it never was, had fries. There was fries and incredible universe were both like these places that you went yeah. to and you could go and so i had them build me the fastest craziest gaming computer and it was like it played videos and it had like flight simulators and like all the stuff you could do and for the longest time i was a pc guy and then um i went to work for the radio station and i had to do some graphics stuff and i was having a heck of a time with photoshop and um the girl that i 
was one of my interns at the radio station. She goes, here, try this. And she pulls up her little, you know, little Mac uh, laptop. And she goes, here, she goes, you just go here and do this, whatever. And I'm like, man, that's easy. And she's like, yeah. And you just look at it. And she goes, look at it. And then we, why is this so easy? And she's like, yeah. And I go, wow. So I started, you know, kind of thinking about it. And then, because they wouldn't buy me a Mac at the radio station because nobody had, everybody had PCs and they weren't going to switch anybody. Sure, but sure. as soon as I left, I had to get a computer for college. And, um, and I, I did. And for some college classes I was taking, I just bought a Mac. And then ever since then, I just love them. I love them for graphics. I love it for videos. Um, that kind of stuff is great for everything else. Not so much, but that's a lot of what we do. You know, we do a lot of graphics and a lot of video and stuff like that. So for me, I like ease. I don't like have to think too hard. You I know? hear you. Uh, yeah, you know, I, so. I had an iMac for a little, I was actually doing some, some temp tech support work for Apple. And they actually sent me an iMac that I had, um, and I would do work on that for for yeah. for that. It was it was cool. It was cool to use, but again, it's just way 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 too expensive. Well, they are. It's very pricey. But like, I'm also yeah. not a Samsung phone guy either. You know, like I'm an iPhone. Neither guy. am I. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I don't. I don't know. I've just never been into to Androids or or PCs anymore. And I when no. I got the kids. Both my oldest uh, Theo and my and Sam both wanted gaming PCs, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I got them. I'm like, don't ask me. I said, you know, you could talk to Delway yeah, or whoever, yeah. but don't right. ask me because I said I don't know anything about these things. So, but they they seem to like them, and they play all their games and stuff. But oh yeah, I don't know, not my thing. Anyways, off topic. Sorry guys. But See yeah. that that's where we go off the rails right there. That, that's but I do a lot of graphic stuff. I mean, like I create, you know, everything that we do, all our flyers, all our stuff. Um, I yeah, use Photoshop yeah. for everything, and I do the same. I do. The, yeah. I use Photoshop too. And I absolutely love it on my Mac. I just, I just don't. I don't know what I would do. I don't think I can handle it not having, you know, my Mac. So yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, Hero Three has a question about. Yeah, Las let's Vegas. go. Let's go and pull okay. it up, and then uh, I've got a good. I've got a good response for it. Yeah. Hero Three says, "So let's address the elephant in the room: Who partied the hardest in Las Vegas?" Well, you know what they say: what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So we really can't <laughs> out a lot of people. Yeah. But I will say, Amelia met a nun. Yeah, she did. And there's a story behind that. Which <laughs> one of our live streams, we talked. I think it was last week or the week before last. It might, it might have been. Yeah. Yeah. So the first night we were there, not a nun. Uh, not a nun. Yeah, we went downtown and like we got. And I I, I put it in the Discord too. I don't know if you guys saw the photo of her with those Eli, with cowboys. Eli, Eli's boyfriends that he always <laughs> has to go take pictures with when we're there. These, these buff cowboy guys, and um, he actually got pictures with the girls this time. But usually yes. the first year he the guys had picked him up and took pictures with them. But we got Amelia up there with wings on and you know and everything. So I think that um, picture's in the Discord too, isn't it? Yeah, we put it yeah, in there. Yeah, I put yeah, it in yeah. there so everybody could see. And she she loved you know she had, I think that kind of made her come around because she was a little bit scared down there with all those people and drinking and stuff. So and anyway. it was it was it was St. Patrick's Day, so it was it was a little wild for sure. But but honestly, I would say no one partied hard in Las Vegas. You know, Jonathan, you didn't even have a single drink, did you? I no. Mean, yeah, no. see, I had I had a couple beers, but it wasn't like it wasn't like anything that we anybody was crazy or anything like that for sure. You know, and it, it, part of it was because I wasn't feeling well, but like also I had like I said I haven't drank in like six or seven months, yeah. but I also had the kids, you know, and I just I I feel like it was their it was their trip, you know, it was their trip to have a good time, and I really wanted to focus on them and and the stuff they were doing and make sure they had a good time. But I I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, you know, Eli and those guys, they love to drink and have a good time too. And they had a great time. Um, you know, nobody went crazy though. I mean, no, nobody no got, one went crazy. No, no, I mean, really I mean, re remember, remember too, we were, we all had like a, like a schedule of things that we wanted to accomplish. So there was yeah. that. So, you know, there was definitely no day drinking or anything like that going well, on. And I think that's, what's really cool. I think that a lot of people realize actually meeting us in person and stuff like this is who we really are. Yeah. And for like sure. you see Eli and Cody as a good example, like that's how they are in real person in real life. You know, they are those yeah. people sure that, you know, they may want to drink or whatever, but like when it comes to their business and what they're doing and the reason right. they're in Vegas, they're legit serious. Like they're not like, you know, they're, they focus on what they need to get done. And we are all serious about the business part, but we also have a good time, but we, we take it pretty seriously. Yeah. You know, and, right? and remember too, like after all the events are, are over for the day, you know, most of us just kind of hang out at the, at the hotel casino area, uh, because it's a great spot for networking. I mean, sure. Yeah. There's, you know, we can have a few drinks and do that, but like I said, no one went crazy. No, no. Um, oh God, that event needs here. 
what is up man how are you claw daddy vending there we go howard what's up my dude sending my best from claw daddy arcades he's there, expanding cool. like crazy congratulations he's got a yeah. bunch of locations um got to hang out with him in vegas too uh, yeah. just he's in california but he's way down the bottom of california so i don't really get to see him um but it was really nice to hang out and say hi and all that stuff so and then we might be working on some stuff together hopefully in the future that's the plan so there's a lot of really cool people that those of you that are new to the discord um there's a lot of people that maybe not be as active in the discord but they've been in there for three four years and the amount of knowledge they have and stuff like once you touch base with a lot of these people um you can get a lot of help and there there's claudette is a really good example of somebody that's done things before anybody else has done it and and yeah. broke a lot of molds so um uh, a lot of molds that people are copying and doing their own um, type of claw rooms and other things like that but he's he he was one of the first so i mean amazing stuff very cool so yeah all right <laughs> I don't david said he he had so much fun in vegas oh yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's always a, such a great time i mean just just getting to hang out with everyone that we've you know been talking to all year and all the good stuff and meeting all the new people that are you know have, have joined us in our in this whole crazy discord thing that we got going on that's that's honestly the best part just seeing everyone and getting to hang out um obviously the seminars are great the show is amazing but just the whole experience it's it's just so awesome. I'm already starting to plan for for 2025, working on getting Mrs. Galaxy Games on an airplane for this one. There we go. Well, I wanted to introduce you listening. <laughs> um, I I one thing know. I wanted to say, you know, I was talking to Jen today on the phone about it. Yeah, is, yeah. Is um, those of you who signed up for committees, um, those who want to help with MBVA, um, it is going to be. Kind of in the past with MBVA, you know, you have IAPA that falls in between MBVA, you know, once a year. And so it kind of like, you get a, like a little bit of a shift in the focus of, you know, you go MBVA, MBVA, and there's kind of a little bit of a break. And then it's like IAPA, and then there's a little bit of a break, and then we're back to MBVA again. But, um, you know, the goal this year is to really kind of make MBVA a year long thing where there's a lot of stuff going on and, and you can participate in making it better. And I think that's what Jen's really trying to focus on is getting as many people involved as you can. And I have to say, which was really crazy for me. And I, I told David, I was talking to him on the phone about it is that, I don't know if you got stopped or not, but I got, and I wasn't feeling the rest and I feel kind of bad, but I got stopped like six or seven times um, walking through while I was filming, well, trying to film, um, and people saying that they watch either they watch our live streams mm -hmm. or they they've seen our our videos yeah. or whatever it was, and it and it's industry people on the FEC side, not on the you know MBVA side. So it's yeah. the, it's the Betsons and the Coast to Coast and, yeah. and yeah. these companies that are you wouldn't expect would be interested in anything that we had to say, but the, the idea that it brings kind of some excitement to vending and, and gets people to say, Hey, you know, I heard about that on that vending live stream or whatever it is working. It is helping totally. to kind of create totally. an awareness. And I, I think this year is going to be even bigger for that. And I'm Oh, really absolutely. Excited. Yeah. And you know, it, it's, it's a combination of the live stream, the discord, there's some Facebook groups out there too, but, but let's be honest, there's a lot of toxicity in those Facebook groups, Yeah, which is one of the main reasons why we created the, the discord in the first place was to try to, you know, get away from that and not have anything toxic. Cause that's the last thing we want in the discord. We don't want any problems. We want people to be there to help each other, not make fun of them for doing something or, or whatever. Everyone's going to try something. And you know, when somebody tries something new, that's basically taking one for the team, right? Just trying something yeah. to see how it's going to work or whatnot. So I applaud those people that do that. <laughs> We've done a lot of that. Yeah. Well, and we all have. Yeah. The, <laughs> most of the time, um, <clears throat> you know, and and it it's it's paid off, which is great. But I really feel like the the Discord is is a totally different avenue of what Facebook and Facebook is agreed, very agreed. very negative. And I think that that is um, unfortunately it can be it can be positive at times and people can get a lot of help but then you've always got people that want to you know have something to say and be cooler than everybody else or just just you know pour rain on somebody's parade or whatever just to be a jerk and it's like why yeah you know yeah. like and they're just afraid I, I, of people yeah, stealing their locations or whatever it may be and right. it's sad like it's like 
help them out, you know, and then make them your friend and then share totally. your locations totally. instead of fighting them over it. So um, we have somebody we found out today uh, in one of our areas that is got started in vending. We don't know who it is, um, um, but they were going around looking for locations. And the one location that we have, our boba, one of our boba shops, uh, the guy goes, oh, you know, I'm happy with who we have, you know, in our location. And the guy's like, well, I can give you commission and blah, blah, blah. And I guess he's like some 30-year-old kid. I don't know who he is yet. I haven't found out. But um, the guy's like, you know what? He goes, I don't want the commission. He goes, I like them. I like their machines. I like the toys they put in it. They always come in. They always talk to me. And he's like, you know, you should give them a call, like, and just introduce yourself. And maybe you guys can work together. And the guy's like, oh, I don't know. I'm doing my own thing. And, and he's like, well. He's not going to last very long. I said, probably no. not, you know, Maybe that's not. probably because yeah. I go, he could call us and we could, you know, there's some locations that we can't do or, you know, that may contact us and, and want something, but we can't fulfill that. And we would love to pass that on to somebody to help them grow. But if you don't want to work with, with your fellow vendors, then, then, you know, nothing negative can come out of it with working with us. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I'd rather be working with you than against you. And I don't think it's the same way. Like it's very hard to beat people that do things really well. So just remember that is that they try to do your best at whatever you do because yeah. they can't beat you. Um, so make sure you take care of stuff. So, yeah. Anyways. Agreed. Yes. All right, couple couple comments to highlight. First of all, let's sure. let's pull up Claw Daddy Vending. He says, "Agreed, you guys." And Discord have brought a ton of awareness and positive new life to the game. Uh -huh. No hate, all help, all love. Yes. yes, that's exactly what we're going for. Thanks, Claw Daddy, for pointing that out. That's, that's exactly, exactly what how we he want. Is. Yes, you know, and and for it's sure, great. and he's helped out David a lot because he's just above David down there, and he works with David on some things. Um, he's helped out Lolly a lot with her claw cave that she opened up. Yeah, and he's willing to help, you know, and he doesn't want bad blood. He doesn't need, you know, right people. No one, you know, no one's got time for that. No. no one wants to deal with that. And he's extremely positive, which is very cool. For sure. So thank you for being that way. Because fits right in here exactly. Yeah. And then I like this one too from Claw Magic. Just posted says we need a Discord convention on the East Coast. You know I love East Coast stuff. <laughs> uh, I know I, I know I know that's more challenging more challenging for you, Jonathan. But uh, I want to say there's something in the works in the Myrtle Beach area sometime soon. Um, I don't have any details. And if anyone here in the um, in the discord knows about uh, a Myrtle beach vending convention, put it in the comments, but I think there's something out there or something in the, in the works or being planned or something like that. It might not be an every year thing. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's something involving vending and a convention in Myrtle beach, South Carolina. So if you guys know, put it in the comments, but that might be something that we could, uh, organize or, or put together or who knows, maybe as we keep growing, we can, um, we, we, we can try some, some new things. Who knows? Maybe we can put something together or maybe, you know, maybe the NBVA doesn't have to have their convention in Vegas. Yeah. You know, they, they've I had it in other cities before too. They have, and they've done yeah. many ones. So they've done yeah. like little offshoot where they just get the, the owners of the routes and stuff together in a certain location and had meetings and stuff. So that might be something, something like too. that would be really cool That's too. Why you guys need to join a committee. And then talk about this kind of stuff. Because look at look at all stuff. these ideas flowing know, tonight, man. guys. I mean, Come so, on, so, such good stuff. Yeah. Oh, we got a super chat. Super chat from Elite Claw Amusements. Five dollar super chat says, "Candy machines is three to four weeks wait time to ship. If anyone is willing to sell mid sized claw machines and deliver to SoCal, hit me up via Discord." Yeah, he's down in um, near LA area. So yes, um, correct. Uh, don't know what. Um, gosh, AZ Amusements might have something. I'm not sure. They're right there below you. Um, and uh, I mean, another one that we talked to this week is Pipeline Games. Um, and they got Mike, some, Mike, Mike at 720 just got some some new little winners in from oh Pipeline. I would call I'd call Pipeline Games because um, they've got some new stuff they just came out with, and it's pretty awesome. And sure. like we said before, yeah. their their machines you can see a mile away. Um, they're just awesome, and people are just that booth was packed the entire show. Um, so I would definitely check out their stuff and see. And Gary's a great guy; he's awesome to work with. So definitely give them a call. Um, that might I mean, their their machines are very eye catching. I mean, just yeah. bright, beautiful, yeah. and just you, you can't not see them. Poor David. <laughs> Gumball Gold says, "Where is David and his new mic?" 
Sure is the best. It's in what I use. That's what I use too. How about that? Fancy people. Yeah. <laughs> but said so our gas prices are so high we can't afford shoe mics out here in California. <laughs> um, uh, he he's having internet issues, and we're 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 basically twisting his arm very hard right now to get um, Starlink because he basically right. lives out in the middle of nowhere in Arizona, and that's the only thing that's going to get him any kind of internet. So he needs to step it up. He was in the past was worried about it because they didn't have a lot of satellites, but now there's tons above them out there. So he, I think he's going to switch. We just need to twist a little harder, but he's where we're trying to get him. So he tried to come on. We were working on it for how long, like 30 minutes before we went on trying to get him to, to get connected right and stuff. And it's just, his internet is, is really poor. So totally, totally. Yeah. All right. Hero three's got a good question. Wants to, uh, wants to ask, is there anyone on the discord that sells licensed plush? that doesn't need to be shipped from overseas. So I know like when I buy licensed plush, um, I love to buy the Nintendo stuff from candy machines.com. Um, I know that I've bought a lot of stuff from a and a global. Uh, the, and what's great about places like a and a global is there's no minimum orders. If you want to buy like four Bob Ross plush, you can just buy four Bob Ross plush. If you want to see how they do in your machine, you don't have to go crazy and buy, you know, 200 or whatever it is you can buy you can you can pick and choose exactly which one and create a custom order from a and a global so that's one option too when it comes to license plush but there's also other ones out there too what'd you say toy biz or what that one was yeah. good stuff fiesta all of them have different licensed plush available right here in the states there we go all right elite claw amusement says trying to find something with a prize locker pipeline doesn't have anything with prize lockers currently Gotcha. I was going to say okay. even better is is to do a separate prize locker right next to the machine. So like you can order, um, which I believe they even have them. Uh, I know they had a redemption system, which was amazing at the show. But yes. I believe they have small lockers available. Um, if not, um, uh, I know Rainy does have small lockers available. Um, sure. And you can order one of those. Then you have four keys that you can put in your machine and four different prizes. So... I'd probably get the better looking machine and then get a prize locker, uh, really inexpensive, and then put that next to it if you have enough room. Um, it sounds like you do because you're looking for medium, medium, a little bit larger machines. Maybe you do a smaller machine with a prize locker or something. I don't know, but right. uh, I would definitely look at what they got because I was very impressed with their stuff this year, and I spent a lot of time in their booth. It's very cool. So Absolutely. All right. Um, Keith Arnold posted the name of that conference or the convention I was thinking of. It's called oh. Atlantic Coast Expo. And yeah, yeah. So uh the vending convention in Myrtle Beach is Atlantic Coast Expo. What was the what were the dates on that? October 10th through 12th. I gotta write that down. Because now I need to research that. My birthday is the eighth, just so everybody knows. Um and if you need my address, I'll give it to you so you can send all my presents. It's October 8th every year. <laughs> That's why I love Halloween so much because my birthday always falls in, in the month of October. So There we go. All right. So I'll research that. We'll talk about that more in a future stream. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you're on the East Coast and you're planning to attend, you might just see yours truly there too. Well, and I think that, um, you know, and it's funny because, you know, I kind of told you, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to go back to Tiapa, you know, but I, I think that, if we can justify the expense of, of going, sure. I really feel like when we get together, like all of us, you know, yeah, you, yeah. and I and, and Eli and Cody and like all of us get together and stuff like a lot of magic happens, you know, and totally, we, totally. And yeah, for sure. Very cool. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of uplifting. It gets you excited about yes. doing, uh, sharing ideas, seeing like, you know, because, I don't know how many times like I, I picked Cody's brain while I was there because that guy's a, literally a genius. If you guys don't Absolutely. know, Cody, Cody's he's awesome. usually the quiet one, but man, his brain is like, it's like four times as big as his head. I mean, it's just, he just has so much knowledge in there about everything. And he's always thinking, you know, he's always thinking about something. So me and him had some really good deep talks about ideas of how to do stuff. And he's working on a bunch of cool stuff. So yeah. it's just neat to, to bounce things off you because where you live the people you hang out with a lot get really sick and tired of you talking about vending and all the stuff that you yeah do. that's it, that's that's kind of what i was talking about like after all the events in vegas too and we all just kind of go back to the hotel bar and that's when we have like 
we can talk vending and, and like nobody is like rolling their eyes because everyone right. is interested in it, right? Or so, they feel your pain, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, because people right. around here, I like. I don't really. I tried when I was golfing with my buddy. Uh, what was it yesterday, day before, whenever it was. Like, I tried to talk to him about what is going on with us, and he's just like, uh huh, uh huh. And I'm like, yeah, yeah no, he's, you know, right, he's a right. sports guy. You know, he wants to talk about sports. I'm like, I don't do sports, dude. Like, I mean, we're just not. Yeah, he's, he's probably that way. he's probably over there thinking thinking to himself, man. I gave him three uh huhs, two yeses, yeah, right, two yeah, and and like he's still talking about it. Like, what's going well, on? Well, and here? it's like you know we worked together for the longest time, so when you're at work, you know, like you kind of get along because you're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. work and you don't yeah. have to share a lot. But when you're like on a golf course in a golf cart, like you have to kind of talk, you know. And we just didn't have anything to talk about. It felt really bad, but. Um, you know, we're not th that kind of friends. We just happened to meet out there on accident when he was when he was there. And we're like, let's just play together. And um, yeah, but it's it's how we can get together at a conference, and it's like we never left each other, and we can talk about everything, and, and people understand. You know, and our wives don't have to hear it anymore. So right, it's nice. right, right. Yeah. One so. thing I talked to Cody about in Vegas was about stocking prizes in the cutter machines, like in in this case, mm -hmm. the Mini Magic Cut. Um, and like you guys have seen the, the quick play videos where they show the prices in those machines and man, Cody handles all that. And he's yeah. so creative when it comes to filling those machines and making them look like super awesome. So I don't know what gift he has, but I wanted to learn more about that. I thought that was really cool. And it is an art too. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. an art that I have no idea how to do. And then he'd be the first person I'd probably call, you know, just because he, he does, he does do those amazing um um i've seen him do them really good i've seen tinker toys and hobbies they learned how yeah. to do theirs they just got that mini magic cut um but it is like an art form of trying to not only get that part of it right but the actual prize is right too so totally very totally. true very true i mean he's a he's a genius man he and really he's got is. that that really you know dry dry you know sense of humor that i mean yeah. he's always cracking jokes and if you're not paying attention you're gonna miss him because he's just you know he's really funny too so totally awesome yeah, i really love hanging out with him he was both eli and cody are awesome to hang yeah. out with They're very cool guys but like eli you like you always know where he stands you know he's always got that energy and he's like you know and it's like he's always like ah, you know yes like, yeah the eli yeah, you see on camera kind of is the, is the eli like, in real life too for sure yeah What's he's that? awesome they're, they're, they're all awesome like pinky in the brain you know love that crew like, over there how do we rule the world and you know and then you like yeah. ah, i'm gonna blow it up and he's just like well let's build it first you know like it's just right, see, like right. that's their relationship you know so it's just it's cool yeah very cool but man it was just that was the, the one thing that was like i really enjoy is is after all the scheduled events are over and we're just all hanging out in the evening or just talking vending and, and just you know, like sharing cool stuff that's honestly usually my mo my most favorite part just getting to see and hang out with everybody and just talk shop yeah it's very yeah. cool and then see what's new you know and i think that that was that was actually kind of cool this year that i think that we went to iapa because we kind of seen a lot of what was there at, at yeah NBA. sure um and so we kind of got to focus on other things like we didn't i don't think we spent as much time at the expo as we did talking and doing business of of stuff that we didn't get to do last year so it was kind of a reversal of, of yeah. roles, you know so well, it's kind of funny that you mentioned that because I was actually just thinking about that to myself. So like, you know, year one at the NBBA, you know, we walked in, it was my first time at a convention like that ever. And I just like, you know, mind blown. And like, I'm like, I got lost in pinball for an hour and just like, it just, everything is just like, it was so overwhelming. I just want to do it, see it all and do it all. Yeah. And I didn't get the chance to talk to a lot of the vendors and manufacturers and stuff like that. So this year, you know, I, we got there, I went to candy machines, you know, saw all that stuff, made my video. And then I spent the rest of the time pretty much talking to different vendors, placing orders for all the different plush and stuff like that. Cause you know, show specials are a thing. So you got to take advantage of those. Right. Um, which is something that I've, I've never, I've never ordered from the show before. So this year I wanted to make sure I got, I got in there and did that because and I, I was very happy advantage. you did that. Cause you came back, you're like, Oh, I ordered a bunch of stuff. I'm like, Oh, that's so cool. You actually yeah. got to do that. And then yes. it's neat to meet like Sharon and, yeah. and, and Becky from flatline and all these people you talk right, to on right. the phone yes. and then you act, they actually know your face. They're like, Oh yeah, I met him. You know, like I totally. they make the connection and it's way more personal. It's very yes. cool because it is the people you talk to at the booth. So it's absolutely. It, yeah very cool i mean um, they're, they're they're just awesome people so yeah. cool and such great customer service all of them everybody was so nice and willing to help it was awesome 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And you got to, you know, you got to meet people that, that you probably wouldn't any, any other time, you know, if they're not near you, like 720 Vending or these people, like I've talked to them on the phone or had video conferences with them. Totally, yeah. I've never sure. met him in person. So it was nice to meet him and his family in person and hang out. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, I felt like I wish I would have hung out a little bit more with people, but I, like I said, I wasn't feeling good, but um, I did my best, you know, so. Well, you know what? Like, like I said, uh, no one would have ever known that you weren't feeling well. I mean, you, Aww. you, uh, well, you, you hit it well. And so, I mean, you, you, you were, you were around all the time. So I don't know what you mean by, you know, you, you missed out <laughs> or whatever, but, but you were there. So it's all good. Do you want to talk about the big reveal we had? The big reveal? You mean yeah. your big reveal? My big reveal? Your OnlyStans she website? Out. She missed out or they missed out. Yeah, I think you should show it off one more time. Okay, so everybody go to clawstand.com. Yes, not only stands, which which yeah. is uh, which is a <laughs> URL for sale. I did look. Right. Clawstand.com, the brand new claw stand uh, for any of your mini claw machines. Uh, it does it for every one of them. Um, and all the information's on here. Uh, Are you gonna put it up on the screen? Uh, oh, I didn't. I you didn't. Did. <laughs> oh, that would help, huh? There we go. <laughs> so this is, sorry, let me go back up to the top. So this is clawstand.com. Um, this is where you can order your claw stands. We're taking pre-orders right now. We're trying to get up to a thousand units is our goal by the end of the month. Um, and you can either order them directly through the website and um, basically get them shipped directly to your house, or you can order them from Rainy uh, directly, and her contact information's also on this page, the Check It Out page, um, to get in touch with her. And if you order uh, the stands through them, like if you order her minis, um, um, she can save you a bunch of money, if possibly even free uh, shipping on those, um, on those stands. So that's the big deal and the big costs that, um, why did I have his, what did I do here? I messed up on this. Let me go back up here. There it is. I grabbed the wrong one. You talking it about the comment that's on there? there yeah, you go. it was supposed to be this comment. <laughs> there Sorry, we go. Guys. There we go. So anyways, um, that's why I brought this up. But so you can order them right here on the website uh, and get shipping to your house. Or um, if you order machines from her, she can put them on the pallets with the mega minis and stuff that you order from her and probably either save you a lot of shipping or even free shipping, uh, she thinks. It just depends on what you order and what's on the pallet and that kind of stuff. So it just kind of depends. Um, but right now, it's pretty much complete, ready to go. I want to look it over one in, in my hands um, just before we ship them out and make sure that everything is the way that we want it to be and that it works perfectly on all three kind of machines that are out there so it would be your uh mega Mi your uh super minis from candy machine your mega minis from rainy and your um golden houses from az amusements it'll work on all three of those machines they're currently in the process of creating a little bit smaller unit that is going to be for the og minis which i think is going to help a lot with those little machines so um that's coming out probably a month later once we get that final design finished up it's basically the same thing just a little bit smaller um but um it's not completed yet so but you can order it right here on the website and uh clawstand.com and any questions, contact me. I would love to answer all your questions. Uh, when I get it in stock, I'll take pictures and videos and everything. The one that's on the site is the one that we created here in the U.S. before sending out all the schematics. And so, yeah. Anyway. So, the, so the one on the site is the prototype. And then yeah. Tinker's Toy and Hobby did ask, will there will there be a video of of, of the install once you actually have that available? Yeah. So the goal is that because um, the install is actually really easy. And um, it's 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 very simple, and, it, and the brackets adjust to whichever uh, machine you have, so it's great. So it'll it'll it's really easy to put together. And then also, I'll do a video on like showing you like how sturdy they are because it's pretty crazy. Like you can't, like they don't move, man. They're pretty awesome. And right, the right. stand is fifty pounds, so it's it's pretty heavy duty. Um, and, it, and because it's so wide on the bottom, um, you can't get the top to tilt. It's just. It's fantastic. So nice. I'm very excited um, for the fact of, you know, you getting, um, hi. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> well, I don't know if this is going to last very long. Hey, but at least you're here for a little at. bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been in chat and I was like, oh, I'll try connecting again. Nice. 
seems good. Good audio, good video. So I think you're think you might don't be good for at least a little bit. It, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I should before you, before we lose you, tell us about what's going on with you in your week. Yeah, and what you've how's been your week to? been? How's the arcade? What can uh, you share? Everything, everything good. Um, so I got a laundry mat, and I'm real excited about this laundry mat. It's doing really well. It did like uh, five hundred fifty dollars or whatever in like uh, just a few handful of days, like eight or nine days, just over a week. Is your laundromat nice. at Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels like it. It's a beautiful laundromat, though. Um, so th they actually are opening up a second one, and it's great because they always have a staff member on site. Nice. And so that's, they, that's the awesome. The second one is yeah. even better location. It's going to be a little bit bigger, and they really want me in there. And, and then um, I guess they got other places across the nation, so I don't know. Maybe I can talk to their corporate side. And they, Yeah, you they, should. It was kind of cool because when I put it in, uh, a few days later, they were telling me the story that corporate came in and they have a policy where they have to have, you know, they like having, they really encourage coin pushers in the laundry mat. Well, coin pushers are illegal in most states. Yeah. And so they don't have anything, but they, and then they corporate came in and saw the gamer minis and they were like, we love this. Who's the, your vendor and stuff. And I was telling them, well, I got people all across the nation, you know, maybe we can work something out or something like that that's no. right that's right we got we got vendors you know, everywhere. help other people wow that's a great yeah. concept <laughs> right, i really right. like that concept that's pretty awesome so, uh Ooh, obviously spread the wealth. that that would be my most like i was real excited i was like i can't i got I, i'm because i know i'm a youtuber i'm like man i can get you hooked up all across the nation um so because they're expanding and it's a really i love their concept they have members on the staff and then the other news is is i got uh six new I just got the con. Well, I haven't checked my email, but because my internet's been uh, acting up, but I supposedly I got an email with a signed contract with a list of six locations I gotta get, and they're uh, my best, uh, you know, my best uh, franchise that I have. And I got to the other owner has six locations, so I'm really excited to be uh, participating with them. I'm excited now, you got it, man. I know you've been waiting for that email. I so know, that's like, like a I, boss. Like, it, was, it was really great. So I think those locations together, kill it. I Very think it's going to be, I don't want to say, you know, too much, like oversell it or whatever, but I think that's an extra 10 grand a month between those six locations in sales. So, yeah. That sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get awesome. a lot of toys ordered. Congrats, man. That's that's very Thank cool. You. Thank you. <laughs> so, How about the arcade? Any updates on Kanichi Claw? Uh, so far things are really good. Uh, Kanishi Claw has been surprisingly like really good without uh, any like I don't have to go over there, but once a week, and it's pulling in two to three thousand a week right now, which you know for an arcade that's unmanned, I think that's pretty good. I'd say um, so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I don't uh, maybe keep it within the Discord. Uh, I don't really. I mean, the, I don't really want people to know how much I'm making that arcade just yet because I got a lot to still improve on. And yeah, uh, yeah. it's kind of funny. I got a pinball machine in there, and people play the crap out of that pinball machine. And I didn't know it was going to be so uh, popular, but I put it on free play. And um, every time I'm looking at my uh, camera, there's someone playing that pinball machine. Well, they if it's on it. free play, of course they're going to play it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a 1994 uh, pinball machine. I didn't think it would be that popular. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, pinball's fun. Yeah. So, anyways uh sorry <laughs> i was just thinking that that um because you have still have quite a bit of room in that place you know like there's and and like a lot of places now are putting you know like uh benches or or chairs for the parents to like sit down while the kids are playing the game or whatever and i was just thinking about matt's massage chairs and like oh, I'm wondering how those, how you those know they've got do. coin op massage chairs for yeah, sure. Yeah, like having that like a, a couple of those back to back, like in the you know me in the middle or off to the side or something against the wall, like just to see you know because people get tired and they're walking around Matt, and like the kids go are, send me your massage chairs. Well, I'll put it yeah. Well, <laughs> mine's mine's his mine, wife will kill you. <laughs> yeah, she would definitely kill me. I'll and mine, mine's mine's not the coin op version either. So FYI. But it just yeah. came to mind because I was thinking it's unmanned, yeah. you know, so it's a good and that's a good unmanned easy way to make extra money and people get to sit down and relax. So I don't know. Yeah. Could awesome. you imagine that? All right. Listen, I'm going to give my kids 50 bucks to play yeah. in the claw machines while I sit in the massage chair for half an hour. Yeah. Damn. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good idea. I like that. Um, I wonder if the mall would approve of that because I know that they do have massage chairs in the food court, but like I never see people use it. 
So actually, it was funny. The uh, leasing lady told me that she's like, they put them in there, but no one ever uses those things. And she's like, I don't even know if they make money. So it, it's funny. In my mall, we have the massage. I think every mall has the massage chairs, right? Let's be honest. Every yeah, mall yeah. has massage chairs. But like, I always see people sitting in them, but they're never actually getting the massage part. They're just sitting in them because they're, they're cushy and comfy chairs just to sit in rather yeah. than just sitting in like a, like a bench or something like that. So they're yeah. always full, but no one's ever getting massages. Yeah, I would just put that sucker on free play. Might as well, you know, just encourage the parents to come in here and give their there you kids go. some money. That's there you true, go. too. That's a pretty pretty nice added benefit for the parents to come in there. And, you know, even those ones like you used to have where they massaged your feet where they could vibrate it. You put your feet on them and they would vibrate your feet or whatever. Remember those? Like, I don't know. They have them all the time, like at parks and stuff. When they're outside, because they were like metal. Yeah, and they yeah. Put your feet on, them. yeah. And they were very loud. They were very loud. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Man, you are really showing your age right there. Just FYI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. There's kids out there like, what is he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but it's I know exactly though. what you're talking about, so I guess I'm showing my age too. <clears throat> Right. It is what it is. Missed any good other comments? Uh, looks like you guys are all talking to each other. I didn't miss any super chats. We got all those. Um, trying to think, if there's anything else that? Um... Hey, do you remember, David, when you were at the show? Do you remember if um, uh, Pipeline Games had a like a three stack um, prize locker? They had the, uh, I do know that they had a uh, three stack or whatever uh, prize redemption machine. Right. Vending, but I don't know about prize locker. I don't remember. Okay. That. I'm trying to remember. I was trying to remember earlier and you weren't here to, to help me because usually you're pretty good at remembering that kind of stuff. How much do Rainies cost? Because somebody was asking about ordering maybe like a machine from Pipeline and getting like a stand. stand what are those three, stand, three stacked? Once well, it's rainy. actually a four stack, quad stack, okay. prize lock. They're they're really cheap from Rainy. Although it's also really cheap. I mean, it's a cheap getup, but it works. Um, her cheaper one is like a hundred and something dollars. It's like under two hundred bucks, and then you add <laughs> shipping to it, and and that's where it costs a little bit more. But uh, she did come out with a bigger one using the Mega Mini design, which the Mega Mini adds a couple more inches wide, a couple more inches tall, and a couple more inches, or. I think it's about the same uh, depth, um, maybe just a little bit more on the lower end. But anyways, that one, I'm not sure what it costs, but I imagine it will be really cheap too, not too much more. That is cheap. Than, but I got, you know, I bought, I was able to buy 10 of them, plus the 20 Kenichi claws for under $15,000, including that shipped to my door. So yeah. um, they're not. Wow. So, so, you, so your ROI is going to be like, Almost Ridiculous. up already, yes. Yeah, I mean, he's, that's, already, that's he's, so, already in a, he's almost in the black. I, I, I actually so crazy. spent more money on the <laughs> Kiyosoft. Uh, I'm sure. Than yeah, I did I'm sure. On, on the claw machines. Claw machines, they were pretty expensive, but like honestly, it was almost like toys. It goes. It goes. Uh, the the most expensive was the <clears throat> the uh, card system from uh, Kiyosoft. Then it was the the claw machines, and just slightly under was toys. Okay. <clears throat> so. That was my expenses, but that's pretty cool to know that it was almost the cost of toys is what it cost. Sure, you, know what yeah. the, you know what the yeah, best the part about are. those machines and not the cost of them, but the fact that they're all your own custom logo machines. Oh yeah. So own. cool. I mean, I mean it's so all cool. you, you know, like how cool is that? Like they are your machines, you know, with your custom logo on them. I think that's, that's almost priceless. You know, like you almost should pay double for that. Like they, for the price you got them, that's pretty awesome to be custom like that. So very cool, but anyways, I don't remember who asked that question earlier about the the machine. Um, but um, there might be an option to go through Rainy and get your prize lockers. Maybe order four or five from her and just put them at different locations and just have them on hand for that cheap. I mean, three to four hundred bucks is pretty good shipped to your house. So, and then yeah, if you're doing that, you could get some of Jonathan Howard's yeah. stands on the order too and That's save yourself what I shipping. Really and shipping. About. Right, um, yeah. Jonathan. Uh, so my, my, I haven't even told my brother until just recently about your stands. John was doing a collection, and I love this location. And my solution was to bring a second machine in there. They actually approved me for the second machine. The problem is the older gentleman is older, and he forgot that he promised me uh, to bring. I can bring a second machine in there because it's a small, small place. But the small little place will do like six hundred dollars in two weeks. But the problem is, 
uh, they don't watch it very well, and there are times where they'll just tilt my machine and and steal the toys. And it's so frustrating, even though it's a Mega Mini, people can still be really rough with it. So my brother was ready to pull that machine. I'm like, John, don't do that. I'm like, my friend Jonathan Howard has a uh, stand coming out. I'm like, it's not worth pulling this location. And so, not for that much money. Heck yeah, no. It's, it's just, you understand, it's frustrating when it happens because you go over there and there's money all over the place. Uh, the coins are all spread all over. You open it up, just coins fall out, the money falls out, and it takes you like, 10 minutes to, to gather up all the change off the ground that fell out and you're just thinking to yourself this is stupid you know they're dishonest or whatever you hate the theft but it's yeah. a good location so this can is going to make me more money uh because it's going to save me from the theft and it's going to make it where my my machine can actually last five six hundred dollars all the time instead of just totally. Totally. Uh, well, my, my reminds me of when that little kid was jumping on your machine and they made you remove your machine, remember, from that yeah, location that was, because that they were Dale's hanging on machine. it. Yeah, yeah I mean, was... like, if they knew there was a stand on there and you didn't have to worry about liability and all that stuff, like, that, to me, that's worth more than some toys, you know? Like, to me, it's a, I, I can't imagine if one of our machines fell on some little kid. I would just, I would go, I mean, I don't know what I'd do with myself. Dale's I'd feel so bad. one location was that, that space and it's so frustrating that he lost that location because you know delwick lives off a very limited budget you know uh, i don't want to talk about his personal life on my in the chair but every location is very critical to his survival and uh, that's why like you know i like to get these uh and i always appreciate that we share the money with the premium chat delwick because delwick is going to have an income but uh anyways uh i was getting at that location when he lost that location now that was a best location that he lost. And I'm really sad that he did. all because a little girl was running around the parents didn't watch him and she ran and like literally really grabbed the machine and threw it down. So yeah. it, with that stand, he would still he would if if that stand came out a year ago and he still had that location, uh, the problem would have never happened, but he probably would have made he was making about a thousand a month from that location. <laughs> so you're talking about twelve thousand dollars more richer than what he would have had just by investing on that little stand. I mean, that's how important that stand is uh, right now to the minis. So I mean, the- if, if Mickey and Donald would have just watched that machine better. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. We'd be still at Disneyland. Right. So <laughs> no, no, but that's how I'm, I'm, it's, I think it's a really incredible that you have uh, this invention. So. I'm excited. I just want to, I'm, I'm excited to help people, you know, and that it totally. solves the problem that we've had since the beginning. And it's, there's never, you know, there's never a flat floor anywhere you go or there's tile or there's some other issue. And it's just like, it's going to solve all those problems. And I'm just really, I'm excited. Cause I really, I really wanted this for a long time for us. Cause we've been frustrated with this whole situation. Cause minis are awesome because they're easy to place. But it's just like they're not sturdy and they're they're super easy to tip and and they can cause a lot of problems. So you got to be careful. Make sure you guys have your own insurance. Make sure you guys have an LLC. Protect yourself. But also, you know, get a stand because it will make you a lot, you know. So anyways. So uh, one more time. We got eight minutes. Let's talk about the giveaway one last time. All right. Let's do it. I've got the plush. Oh, okay. I'm going to put <laughs> just you and it next to each other then. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Real quick, it. rapid fire, guys, because we're on limited time tonight. So, um, All Star Vending, that is the giveaway. Currently, $100 gift certificates. You can get yourself some of the Velvety Soft Plush, which is back in stock. I just got some myself. Take a look at that, guys. There we go. Super cute, super soft. Some of it has some really cool eyes. There you go. There's the glittery sparkle eyes on, on the unicorn here. Um, it's really high quality stuff. But they've also got many other things to choose from for you to spend that $100 gift card on. They've got bulk vending supplies, flat vending supplies, all kinds of awesome, awesome stuff. Um, taking a look at some of the things here in the picture, like I said, they've got uh, those slow rise squishies. Those would go great in an OG mini machine or even probably just a regular super mini, anything like that. That's got the smaller claw. You could do that. And I said, I know, I know there's like stickers and flat stuff too, of tattoos, all that good stuff that you can uh, use for that hundred dollar gift card. So we're, we're going to give it away. We're going to draw the winner three weeks from today. And all you need to do to fill out the, the form is just jump on over to that discord, 
find the tab that's got the rainbow on the left hand side. It's called Giveaway All Star 100 Gift Certificate. So easy to find. You can't miss it now. And uh, it, it's very awesome. So again, get signed up, guys. Three weeks from today, we'll draw the winner. Very cool. Thank yeah. you, All Star Vending. Yes, Love thanks, All Star. Awesome stuff. So thank you for doing the giveaway with us. Make sure you Uh-oh. give Sharon and all the girls there a call. Um, yes. What'd you say, David? I think he's oh, starting my, to freeze. My, inter- my, my internet was giving out. Oh, no. Here. Yeah. Can you make it six oh. more minutes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we got a question about the stand. Let's see what it says. I can't remember. All right. Steve's question is, how long would you say it will take to install the new stand on the Megas and Supers? So how long does installation take? Uh, About 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe. It's Like I said, so the stand comes, uh, the bolts are already sticking up on the bottom of the stand to put the brackets. So you Mm -hmm. just lay the brackets on the stand. Slide the um, the mini on top of it. Line up your brackets where you want to mount them onto the machine, and then it's going to have um, the holes. <coughs> that will, there's some self um, tapping screws that you will line up the holes in the side of the machine. Drill it in. You're done. That's it. So three or four on each side. I can't remember which one it is, um, but it's that simple. And then you just tighten down the nuts on the base, so then it's nice and tight onto the base. That's it. It's super fast. Like it, it, and then the nice part about it is I showed you guys that back bracket. The reason I didn't have that back bracket on there in the first place is I figured most people push them up against the wall, right? When they're at a location, but I also wanted you to be able to wheel it into a location with the stand on it. So you're not actually installing the stand like at the location. You can actually do it like at home or in the back of your truck or whatever, when you're on location. Right. So right. Oh, we lost David again. Oh no, he's there. Good. He's just so, jumping in and out. The idea is that, that that back piece, you can add it if you want to, but the whole idea is you can be able to wheel it around. So it still mm-hmm. has the same functionality of the machine without it, but it also makes it easier for you to bring it to your locations and set it up and, and all that kind of stuff or move it. Right on. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. So very cool. Right on. So, oh, it looks like um, PA Pokemon Pulls was playing a little Fallout. Or isn't there a new Fallout movie or show or something now too? Oh, is there... I think There's there a movie, is. Right? Is it out already? I thought it was a summer movie. Maybe not. Maybe I don't know. I, I know I've seen I've seen like trailers or like commercials or something for it. I feel like it's a show. So my oldest son, the one that drew the Batman, and then he also did this painting a few days ago too. I don't know if you can see that, but oh wow, oh, oh wow, work. that's super yeah. awesome looking. Yeah, and so he somehow one of his friends mentioned Mandalorian to him, and like and was trying to draw the Mandalorian. And, um, and so like he, he goes, Oh, my dad watches that show, you know? And, and he goes, he loves that show. And, um, and so then he has a little Grogu on his backpack from, from our toys that we sure. have, you know? And so, um, he came home the other night and I was like all excited. Cause he's like, Hey, can we watch like all the star Wars, like all the way through? I've never seen them. And I'm like, yeah. So like every couple of nights. That's, so that's going to take so, a while. Yeah, it is, but it's just fun, you know, like to, it, to be interested. It's weird how kids kind of go through like these phases of like, yeah, yeah. Four years ago, you know, he would have not been interested in Star Wars at all. But now it's like he's super into it. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool, you know. So it's neat. Man. The toys, man. Get all the good toys. All yeah. the Disney. All the Star Wars. All the all the licensed stuff you can get. Get that stuff. We're losing David again. He's, he's officially now David Copperfield. Oh, he's back. Okay. Uh, can you walk through walls? He just did. Oh. <laughs> He can't hear us. We're like, probably to him, we're like, that, 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 that. Probably. That, that. Like, yeah. So. Very robotic. <laughs> but anyway. we are in our last few minutes, guys. Minutes. So if there's anything else you want to address or ask or throw in the comments, do it now because we're going to be wrapping up here in just about a minute or two. So yeah. make you guys get your comments in there. Also, um, make sure you smash that like button. As you know, even if the stream's over, it'll help other people find the replay. And if you can't find the replay or if you don't want to watch the replay and you want to listen to the stream again or if you missed part of it, you can always find it on all the major podcast platform networks. Usually it uploads sometime tomorrow, right, Jonathan? Usually Thursdays. Yeah, I try to download it usually when we get off, but sometimes mm-hmm. you know, um, YouTube's weird. Like it, it holds yeah. on to it or something. It's got, it's got a process. You... It's got a process. Uh, okay, so um, most of the time I just get up in the morning and download it and then I got to take it into 
into the movie program and like split it in half because it's two hours and it only allows yep. me to do two episodes per per episode. So I got to do okay. a little work to it and then I'll post it. So you'll try to do it by noon, usually the next day if I have enough time. So that's the plan. It's funny now too because now now my Amazon device uh, notifies me when it's been uploaded. So oh, I always nice. know exactly when it goes. Yeah, oh, because I've cool. listened to so many episodes, it's like, hey, there's a new episode of. Vending oh, business discussion cool. Q and A. Isn't that weird, man? Like that's so weird that like right. that happens with our stuff. Like I don't know. I still get kind of tripped out sometimes. Totally, like totally. the show when I was talking about walking on the show and people knew who I was. I was like, that's so weird. Like I'm just normal. Yeah, like yeah, for else, sure, for know? sure. But yeah, pretty cool. So any other questions you can see before we go? No, it looks like we're good. No. Um, can, so David, can, one more thing before we go, and I have to say this to you in front of everybody in the world. You will get off the live stream tonight and you Starlink. will Starlink. Starlink. Okay. So you guys so waiting for it to hit him. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see? That's how Starlink. delayed he is, you guys. What? So he lists <laughs> He Starlink. listens to us like 10 seconds late. Like, it's so sad. Yeah. Order Starlink, please, David. We love you. Yeah, I'm, I've been looking up on the Starlink stuff, and uh, it's like, yeah, $600. <laughs> I think it's cheaper than what it used to be. It's a business expense. Yes. You know, it's funny though, yeah, like like expense. that that whole yeah. delayed response. It's it's like when you're watching a news a newscast yes. and they're interviewing somebody that's on the other side of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and they have those those What's delays. What's the weather like out there like, David? <laughs> David's like that's seriously. Oh. What well, Jonathan, it's Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've been telling you. There's like a delay, like three to yeah. five seconds sometimes. So funny. And so then funny. sometimes you guys start speaking really fast and high pitch, like chipmunks, because it's like catching up. Well, that's natural. Yeah. That's yeah. natural. Yeah. That's natural. <laughs> anyway, guys, okay. it is time. Uh, thank you again for coming back week after week, for joining us for our live stream, for asking the questions, giving us comments. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for supporting our content, for watching our videos, giving us likes and subscribes and all the good stuff. We couldn't do any of this without all of you out there. So again, we appreciate your time for hanging out with us. Make sure you join us next week because we'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Have a great night, guys.